two, a personal best for Danny White. Ranked sixth in the NFC, 21 interceptions for Danny White this year. He settles in with Ron Springs, number 20, and Tony Dorsett. Dorsett, one of the most dangerous players in the league today. And, of course, the wide receivers, Tony Hill, Drew Pearson. There's your offensive line, a veteran, well-drilled offensive line that is healthy tonight. First down and 10, and Danny White is back. Fires to Cosby over the middle on first down. Cosby with a gain of eight. It'll be second down and two, and let's meet the 49er defense. It'll change. It starts out with 3-4, but you'll see a lot of Fred Dean tonight with 17 and a half sacks. He gets two tonight. He leads the NFL, replacing Gastineau, who has 19. Gastineau with the Jets, of course. And out on the left, cornerback, one of the finest players in this game today, Ronnie Lott. He tries to win every game individually. A cornerback, the leading tackler for the 49ers, Ronnie Lott. It's second down and two as Danny White looks it over. Tony Hill, Drew Pearson, split up to the top of the screen. This is Dorsett. And Dorsett oh, right yeah. at the line of scrimmage. And, O.J., I know you know this team. You know them well. You were with them in 79 and 80. We'll try and control the emotion for you tonight. They are a tough scrambling-type defensive team. They're not really the rough defensive team. No, they're a finesse defensive team. And on that play, you saw Willie Harper make one super play. He took on the blocks, but spun right out of it and made a super defensive play. Not an overly big outside linebacker. He only weighs about 210, 215 pounds. And, Don, you know the Cowboys so well, nine years with them. They're coming off a bitter defeat at the hands of the Washington Redskins. How will they react tonight as they look over third and two? I don't really know, Frank. It's one of those things that a lot of things have changed. But I think maybe that didn't change. The ball change. is loose. <laughs> Willie Harper. Willie, Willie Harper, Harper got in on it. He comes, picks it up. Lawrence Pillars comes down with the football. And the 49ers get the first turnover. Danny White's arm is not in motion when he was hit. Pillars gets the recovery at the four-yard line. Let's look at it again. Tina Turner, I believe. Right here with Tina Turner. Yeah, from the outside, Frank, you can't really see much. But again, one of the things that happened last week, they caught that one in the air. That could be an, that's an interception. It was. His yeah. arm was in motion was in and picked public. off right yeah. in the air by Lawrence Pillars. First down, goal to go to the 49ers. Great reaction by Pillars. And the Cowboys, Nate Bitt, a week ago, ran out of Texas Stadium by the Redskins. Get the first turnover of the night. Montana, one of Solomon. He was covered. Now he tries to get it to Wendell Tyler, incomplete. It'll be second down, goal to go. That it's, was ruled an interception. Pillars taking it in the air after White was hit hard by Keena Turner. Did you see oh, Eason Ramson he was back there? Right over, over the middle. He really was. Number 80, he was just standing right there under the goalpost by himself that time. Miller's first interception of his career. Tom Landry brought the team in with a 12 and 3 record. That usually would win a division for you. It will not, however, because of the Redskins' outstanding season. Wendell Tyler oh. and good defensive effort. Harvey had him. Bruce Heather defensively for the Cowboys. Harvey Martin was the first guy that made contact, slipped off, slowed Wendell down a little bit, but had Harvey been able to hold on, he would have had him back about the 10. That's the combination. Turner on the blitz and Pillars on his first interception. His third down, goal to go. There was a loss of about a yard and a half. You would have to think, Frank, that if they could possibly hold him just to a field goal after that, that's like a moral victory right off. Tough to do with Joe Montana. He'll move around. He'll scramble back there. He likes to throw on the run, and he does it oh so well. Dumped off. Nice. Uh, Roger Craig, the rookie from Nebraska, got away from a sure tackling Dennis Thurman. But this youngster, taken in the second round, has really helped the 49ers this season. And he did what any good back should be able to do. He got out there one-on-one, -on -one and any back worth his salt should have gotten in the, into the end zone as easy as he did. So quickly, the 49ers have struck. Let's take a look at it. You'll see Easton, I mean, you'll see Roger Craig come across the backfield, a little swing pass. He got a one-on-one -on -one out here. This is his third touchdown reception of the season, his 11th touchdown overall. That was a nice move. Wishing on for the conversion. Joe Montana will place it down, and the 49ers open with a seven-point lead. And the opening moments here at Candlestick Park, a sellout crowd cheering the heroes on. We'll be back in just a moment. They could have heard the roar of this crowd all the way to the Golden Gate Bridge as 
Roger Craig with over 670 yards rushing on the year, his rookie season, getting his 43rd reception, as O.J. mentioned, his third touchdown reception, and the Niners are on the board first. Don Fellows right back where he was only a few moments ago after the Cowboys had won the toss. Gary Allen back there with him, and Ray Wershing will set it up. You know one thing, the 49ers are fired up. And when everything works for them, they are an explosive team. They have been an up-and-down team throughout this season. They have played a much longer football season than anyone in the NFL. They opened on the Saturday before the season started because of the baseball complications here at Candlestick Park. And they are playing in the final game of the season here on Monday night. And they want this title, Frank. They, they're much maligned after last year. We saw them early in the year against Minnesota. They look like they could be Super Bowl champs again. We have no idea why, why we're waiting here. The officials are conferring down at the Cowboys' goal line. Now they have separated, and we are set to go. But it's good for the defense here. You mentioned earlier that they're a finesse defense. They play better when they're ahead. They can do more things. The crowd begins to build. And we still have a problem. Now, our referee, Bob McElwee, is coming over to the sideline. And it could have to do with the clock. Usually, when we get these unexplained delays, that is what it is. Uh, Bill Walsh is a little upset on the sideline. You know, you go in, you get a turnover, you score a touchdown, and you want the play to continue as soon as possible. You know, guys are fired up right now. And the clock is wrong. And while they sort it out, we're going to show you once again what we told you at the top of the show. If the 49ers can win tonight, they'll win the NFC Western Division outright, and they'll play Dallas or Detroit at San Francisco December 31st or January the 1st. And that, of course, would give them the Christmas week off. Now, if the 49ers lose tonight, the Rams will win the NFC West, and they'll get the Christmas weekend off next weekend. The 49ers are the wild card, and their Christmas will be spent in Dallas because they'll play Dallas a week from today. And all the color blue down in the field, they've sorted it out, and they're going to put four seconds back on the clock. It's a critical, so, critical game, I think, for Dallas in so many ways. For those, and I think most everybody did see the Washington game last week, but they really were dominated by that uh, Washington club. A lot of people saying, hey, you know, we're having to apologize for a 12-3 season. season. That's amazing. And, uh, in a way, that's what they're having to do. They feel like they've got to do something tonight, and that's certainly not the way they want to start the game. Another oddity tonight, the number one and number two quarterbacks, rating-wise, all-time in the NFL, are here. Joe Montana is number one, Danny White is number two. What a scoop. Worship. Ron Fellows. He's got some room. And Fellows had a little gap, and it was closed quickly as barreling down on Fellows was Jeff Stover. Candlestick Park. Here it is from the Goodyear Blimp Columbia looking down. They were warning everyone about the tremendous traffic problems. I don't know how that worked tonight because everyone seemed to get into the stadium. But, of course, the game beginning at 6 o'clock West Coast time, that's right in the middle of the traffic, the work traffic. I got here at 4 o'clock, and the, the, the parking lot was packed. But everybody got here at 2 o'clock. The Cowboys, second possession. Danny White off the fingertips uh, of the Cowboys' leading receiver, Ron Springs. He wouldn't have gained much had he caught it. He did drop that ball, but 49ers had it played pretty well. They put pretty good pressure on Danny. It was kind of a delayed screen sort of pattern, but they didn't fool the linebackers. They were sitting there waiting on it. And now the 49ers send in Fred Dean and what they anticipate will be a passing situation for Dallas. Second down and 10. Fred Dean, as I mentioned at the very top of the show, 17 and a half sacks. There he is. Came from San Diego in 81. And along with Jack Reynolds, who also came in 81 from the Rams, they really put the heart and soul into this team as they roared to the Super Bowl during that season. They're in there now, both of them. Dorsett. Little stutter step. He wanted to go outside. But it had to break it back in for a gain of six. It's kind of fun watching your designated pass rusher, Fred <laughs> Dean, then drop off and cover a pass. He all yeah. lined up on the outside and 
Well, I think they were trying to mix it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's, that's good. You know, you bring him in, and everybody's going to expect him to do all sorts of crazy things. Just let it all go out, and let's try to rush the passer. Yeah, they lined up like a four-man line, and Bean actually was a linebacker, and they were playing the old three-four. They're down at five as they mark it out of the 26-yard line. Three wide receivers in. The speech to Doug Donnelly. And now Butch Johnson is also out there. So we have the four wide receivers. Hill, Donnelly, Johnson, and Pearson. From the shotgun. Danny White. Fires it complete. Oh, very close. Gets it to Tony Hill. And I believe he'll be short of the first down. Uh, it looks like it from here, doesn't it? Could be close enough for a measurement. Cowboys sure think that it's not. Their punting team is halfway out on the field. They'll bring the six in, but the punting unit for Dallas had already started to come onto the field. 11-10, remaining in the first quarter. Jim Miller is the barefooted punter. Yep, almost a yard short there. And the ironies of the game, Jim Miller, who punted for the 49ers, in their Super Bowl season, their punter, as a matter of fact, for the last three years, has come on for the Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys had John Warren kicking earlier in the year. He was injured. So five weeks ago, the personnel director, Bill Grant, decided they bring Jim Miller in. He was rather erratic when he was here with the 49ers. And they are now they picked up Tom Oros. Fourth down, though. This is Jim Miller. Miller hangs it up. It doesn't turn over. Dana McLemore. And the 49ers already up by seven. At good field position, 39-yard line, as Ron Fellows got down there under that punt. The 49ers on top of the Dallas Cowboys, 7 to nothing. Joe Montana brings the 49ers up. The ball... Just outside their own 39-yard line. First down and 10. Solomon moves in motion. Now Craig motions. Montana has a ball deflected. I believe it was Mike Higman who stuck a hand up there and deflected it. You're right, but he had Freddie Solomon wide open. That was an interesting pass route there. He brought play scale, Joe Montana. Let's take a look at the offensive unit for the 49ers. Highest rated passer in the NFL's history, and that became a fact when he threw the ball enough times to qualify this season. Uh, two weeks before that, it had been Danny White, and he was replaced by Joe Montana. So the one and two all-time passers in the NFL are here tonight. It's second down and ten. Craig. No. Nope. And it'll bring up third down and ten. As those type of patterns. Defensively now for the Cowboys, they... Same pretty much with their 4-3, but right now they'll move in a lot of their secondary people anticipating the pass, but this is how they line up in their 4-3. And Randy White having a great year. Bob Bruni typically under a Landry 4-3, the leading tackler. Everson Walls with four interceptions. He led the league, of course, in 81 and 82 out of the left cornerback. Third down and 10. Solomon was the deep receiver, and he must have collided with somebody because he was 10, 15 yards short of that ball, and that will bring up fourth down and the punting unit for San Francisco, and they'll bring out Tom Morris. Montana collided with Anthony Dickerson that time. <laughs> there was one collision that I saw. He said, where are those guys coming from? Let's talk it over, guys. Come on over here. Gary Allen. Fine return man early in the year had a 68-yard touchdown return against Kansas City. As I mentioned, has been out of the lineup for a couple of weeks. He's back for the Cowboys. Horace, not known as a long punter, he's thinking about doing something. He didn't have any pressure. And another error by the Cowboys. Because there's no way Allen's going to get a return. And Horace, with nobody coming in as containment, just held the ball until his coverage team was down right in the face of Gary Allen. We'll be right back. Keeps things rolling 
on the mighty Mississippi. This sucks for you. This is the John C. Bird breakaway barge. Please respond. Let's get him. Just for you, a distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do, this Gerardo Rivera on how Americans are saving children near the top of the world on 2020 Thursday. Here we are, all gathered together in our little booth. Howard, as I mentioned, on vacation with his family. Yeah, that, lots of facts, too. I had a facts. couple of gentlemen sitting with me that had. Uh, much to do with both these teams involved. And speaking of Don Meredith, the former quarterback with the Cowboys, and O.J., of course, spent two years, 79 and 80, with these 49ers. I didn't have much to do with them either. <laughs> First down and 10. 15-yard line for the Cowboys. They're down by seven. Rochette. Uh, nowhere. Uh, he uh, pecked out a couple. As I said, that the 49ers' defense is more comfortable playing against the pass. I thought the Cowboys would come out and run on them a little more, attempt to run on them a little more, but the Cowboys seem to, they seem to be a little flat to me. A little, huh? little sluggish so far. Because he didn't look like he really wanted to run that ball, and <laughs> certainly what, wasn't much room for him to run. Picked up a couple of second down and eight. Wayne Board turned Dorsett back inside. Wayne Board, along with Fred Dean, having a superb year for the 49ers. He don't mess up. Offensive formations this late in the season, guys. What's that? Boom, 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 and boom. Forming defense. He was like a billiard ball bouncing yeah. off the of red shirts as Dorsett is held for a gain of about a yard. It appears they're just kind of walking or walking yeah. through the motions over there, those white shirts tonight. They gotta yeah, get well, that thing going. Maybe they're trying to fill them out. You know, you think that the, the Cowboys, if they win the game, they gotta play these guys next week. I'm sure they want to win the football game, but can you imagine looking across the line at a 260, 270 pounders and pounder and know you have to play eight consecutive quarters against that guy? Yeah. I third think down, get third down and seven as Dorsett got one. 49ers bring in their secondary help. Tim Collier, Dana McLemore. That puts Johnson in motion. Danny White, Tony Hill slipped on the turf. Could have been a first down. He had the yardage. The ball was on target, and Tony Hill slipped. We saw a few people slip in the warm-up. This is not a good football field. We've well, heard over the years that when they had AstroTurf, it was the worst. The field, the uh, surface, is a, it's, even though it's dry, it's somewhat slippery. It's just not a firm surface. As you can see, the turf gave a little bit. Lost his footing. Could have been a first down. Pat Donovan was limping off there. Go 49ers. They're after it out here, aren't they? Those guys dress like that every day. <laughs> I know the 49ers are going to get another score, though. When you get a team flat like this, you've got to get them down more than seven points, especially the Dallas Cowboys. Dana McLemore is back for the 49ers at his own 40-yard line. Jim Miller hangs one up high. Gets a little bit of a turnover. And McLemore from his 40-yard line. Good move by McLemore. Dallas with good coverage. Hustling down there, Jeff Rohr, the rookie from Yale. And Ron Fellows, but a flag is down. And we have a cowboy illegally downfield. And we'll see what the 49ers want to do about it. They have the ball at their own 43-yard line. Not a bad place to start. They're Their decision, I think, predicated on the fact that I think they think that's about as far as Jim Miller can kick it. And they they should know because he was here three years. They're giving a field position at their own 43. To force another cowboy punt, here is Bob And eligible downfield on the kick. Number 50 on the kicking team. Fourth down. Jeff Roar made the stop, but he got down there a little early. <laughs> I don't think he spelled it right, did he? No, not quite. Well, you can understand as we look at it. All right, once again, Dana McLemore at the 43-yard line of the 49ers, and Jim Miller, who kicks with the bare foot. 
Not a bad kick. They made a good choice. That was high to Nakamura. They made a good choice. Inside Dallas oh, territory. No, no. Springs one loose. Goodbye. Kenny Nussler made a diving attempt. He actually knocked Jim Miller away from a possible saving <laughs> tackle. But McLemore oh, takes the 55 yards for another 49er score. And the Cowboys are in deep trouble. He got a couple of real nice blocks earlier, but mostly he just ran through the Cowboys. He got a couple of, you're right, right in the opening. He got the ball quickly. They made a good choice in having him kick it over, obviously. Hey, that's one of the great coaching decisions I've ever seen. Yep, a good block. great block by Paul Williamson, but Eric here's Wright. where the move is. Right there, the beautiful move. Yeah. Another great move. Watch Timmy Newsom now. That's Miller. This is poor tackling right here. Well, Newsom just knocked Miller away from any possibility. McLemore takes it in 55 yards, and Wersing is on once again. Then to McLemore. Wersing. 49 is on top, 14 to nothing, with less than half of the first quarter expired. We'll be back in a rocking candlestick park in a moment. Bill Walsh, in his fifth year, an emotional man. After winning the Super Bowl in 81, the 49ers fell to 3-6 and six last year. He thought about quitting, staying on as VP and general manager. Talked out of it by only owner, Eddie DiBartolo, Jr. And he is in the playoffs. The question only remains to be resolved tonight. Is he the Western Division champion, or will he be the wild card? And the 49ers have broken on top 14 to nothing. Fellows and Allen back again for the Cowboys. And we'll watch Ron Fellows from the six-yard line. Troubles again. Fellows pops a hole. And Fellows out over the 30-yard line. Hit there by Earl Cooper, and the Cowboys have their best field position have of the night. their top field position of the night. And they're going to have to get something working. Have they made a first down yet? No, no they have not. Close. <laughs> a few times. This is pulling them. See, this is an intentional drop. Everybody thinks he's got... Now yeah, then you pick it up and you take off the You'd be surprised side. how many guys have gone all the way after they fumbled the yeah. kickoff. Isn't that funny? You do see that. Good. Yeah, and it does throw off the rhythm, I think, of that coverage team. It does, and they... Give up their lanes, they close down on it, and you can really break it off. The fellows got out close to the 31 yard line. Danny White changing things at the line of scrimmage on first and 10. It's not fourth down, though, is it? Wham! Springs! <laughs> and springs! Bounces Lott. off Ronnie Lott and <laughs> gets another yard out of it. You gotta have your eyes open when you uh, run into Ronnie Lott's territory. I think that defense fooled on that time. I, I think Danny may have called an audible. Looked like Lott was up in a man-to-man -man coverage. Changed the play. They went back into a little zone. He hung out in that short area. So often when you audibleize, as Danny White obviously did, the 49ers, they're not dumb. They can audibleize themselves. Uh, you see Lott up at the top, and he's rolling into that zone. At the top of your screen, number 42, he's going to drop back off. Here comes Springs out the outside. He said, you're in my area, fella. Springs got three. It'll be second down and seven. Springs now split to the left. And they set the single step back. And White is back. All right, totally. First up, and the Cowboys have a first, first down. down. Out near the 42-yard line. Well, if your team is flat, that's the man to get the ball to. Yeah, really, that's really true. And a very good point. I don't care how you get it to him. Get it to him. Quick pitch. Try to get him with some room to run. And that's, that's really what they did that time. And, of course, the Cowboys, we know, can come back. We had them in the opener against the Washington Redskins. They were down 23-3. to They came back to win that. They've been doing it all season, although one has to wonder what was taken out of them last Sunday by the Redskins. One does wonder. First and ten. Cowboys inside their own 42-yard line. Door set. Swarming defense. Carlton Williamson and Willie Harper coming up. That is going to be a loss of about two yards. Uh, there is a... Looks like Pillars. 49er is down. It is Lawrence Pillars. He is the one that set up the 49ers' first touchdown with the interception. Well, we have just a moment of... Little news item, Bart Starr, his Green Bay Packers were defeated this yesterday by Chicago. 
who wound up with an 8-8 eight eight season. He has resigned as head coach of the Green Bay Packers with his, with his entire staff. Sorry to see that. I think Bart's gone through some pretty tough times there in Green Bay. At his own admission a couple of weeks ago, he said, I really didn't have the opportunity to have a little, I guess you'd say, apprenticeship under some of the other coaches. He said, I kind of had to learn on my own, and sometimes when you learn like that, it's kind of hard knocks. Well, you played yep. with a good one for yep. a lot of years. Mark will be okay. Yep. Soul check. Another little news item, and uh, this is shaping up as one of your great soap operas of all time. I'm referring to Billy Sims, who signed a five-year contract with Detroit yesterday, and we talked with the PR director up in Detroit, and Billy Sims has signed a five-year contract with the Lions. Lions attorneys, according to Don Kramer, the spokesman for Detroit, they're solid. They are confident the contract is binding. Meanwhile, from the Houston Gamblers, a statement by their ownership, issued by their PR director, DJ Makovitz, that Billy Sims officially signed a contract July 1st, 1983, <laughs> and that, again, this is from Houston, that he has received a partial payment on his signing bonus. Well, all he has to do is stay healthy. He can play in both leagues. Yeah, well, they didn't say what yeah. five years he was going they to play. Don't. I mean, five here, five there. It might have been spelled out. But anyway, <laughs> that's the situation as we have gleaned this afternoon. Go for it, Billy. I'm all for you. <laughs> Second down and 12. Tony Hill in motion. Whoops. 49er got back on side. Danny White tried to get it to Cosby. Cosby was picked up and covered well by Willie Harper. And Danny White could have got it in there, but Harper had great position on Cosby coming across. Looked like he was a little bit late in getting that ball out to Cosby. That's a pretty tough angle he allows. When you let Cosby run all the way across, it's kind of an angle route anyway. So you'd really have to put it in there. Harper was able to catch up to him. In comes Fred Dean as the Cowboys are confronted with a third down and 12. He's number 74, and you'll see him right at the bottom of your screen. He's not big at about 230, 235, as defensive ends go nowadays. But he is ever so quick. Now they've moved him in over the nose. Number 74, Fred mm. Dean. Not probably because of the injury to Pillars. And he's inside the 49ers 40 yard line at the 38. Doug Donnelly working against Richard Blackmore. Donnelly with a tremendous amount of speed. I'm always impressed with this kind of pass rally because it does require for great timing. The ball is going to be released about there. By the time he looks around, the ball's in the air. The quarterback has to fight it. That ball's right on the money. Good throw. Donnelly's the guy, the speedster down there. They try to get him in there. It's, I believe it was published in the paper. Donnelly's going to probably play more tonight. Maybe Butch Johnson a little bit more tonight. Nobody said anything about Hogaboo. Record setter at Ohio State a few years ago. That was his 17th reception of the season. He set reception records and yardage records at Ohio State. And the Cowboys took him in 81 as a second round draft pick. Doug Donnelly. First down and 10 Dallas. 38 yard line of the 49ers. Springs in motion. Screen to the flanker, Tony Hill. They like to get it to Tony Hill because he's a fine runner once he gets his hands on the football. He gets about four yards out of it. It'll bring up second down and six. Cowboys now inside the 35-yard line of the 49ers. Tony Hill missed four games earlier this year with an injured foot. Still has 43 receptions. Our report from the sideline is Pillars has a bruised knee, but they expect him to return. I don't think they're going to rush him back with a 14-point lead. Dallas scores on two more team. Drew Pearson, top of your screen, wide receiver. Tony Hill is split left. That's score set, number 33, the single setback. Big opening for Dorsett, and he's down close to a Cowboy first down near the 28-yard line. Do you like that kind of play, Juice, where you just give it to you real quick, try to split that... Either zone or a quick trap up there. Is that well, a fun? normally you'll know it right away. If you ever split it, you'll be on the safety before he knows it, and uh, you can be in the end zone. Yes, I like it. Yeah. And I, really, I like it. It is fun. But Nobody that's... splits it any more quickly than Dorsett. Bring out the six, and the Cowboys are a little bit short. Give us a moment to tell you. In 1984, the Olympic tradition continues here on ABC with coverage of the 14th Olympic Winter Games in Sarajevo, Yugoslavia, in February. And the games of the 23rd Olympiad in Los Angeles next summer. Then all ABC Sports will present over 250 hours of Olympic coverage in 1984. 
63 and a half hours will be telecast of the Winter Games, beginning with a special three-hour telecast on February the 7th. The Olympic Games, the once-in-a-lifetime, happens every four years, and it'll happen on ABC coming up this year. Third down, less than a yard. Springs. Oh. No way. Hey, that... There'll be a little bit of a loss on that. Kugler is his nose tackle. They were telling us, you will, this is a new guy, a new name to remember. And that's a tough position to play. Third year out of Penn State. Came Keith up Kugler. as an offensive lineman. They needed him last year. They put him in there, and he has really grown into the job. I've been watching him a little bit, Frank. And he, he, he really holds, he just controls that middle. Let's look at it from the roof, right in the middle, under 67. Just played off the block of Tom Rafferty. And, man, that's good acceleration for that big guy, isn't it? That'll bring up a fourth down, and Raphael Septien comes on. 21 of 25 for the year, long of 46. And he's tried a couple of field goals, 50 or better, this year, and missed both of them. This will be a 47-yard attempt. Rafferty snaps it. Ronald gets it down. It's on the way. And it's through, and the Cowboys are on the scoreboard. But they are down 14 to 3 with 402 remaining in the first quarter. 47 the effort, yard effort by Septian. Chevy Top. Septian ties his own cowboy record. He's one of the most consistent kickers for many years. And this will be Jeff Moore. Bringing it out for San Francisco. Moore is in trouble at the 20 and gets up to the 22-yard line. Will it be first down? The 49ers. We'll finally get to see a little of the 49er offense. They, they had one long drive to open the game about five yards. <laughs> a punt return. First time they'll really get to work. The only other time they're in the middle of the field, they uh, with three plays and out. They go against the Cowboy defense. After 15 games, 11th overall in the NFC. Tough against the rush. They're second. Most teams have passed. Consequently, they're last in yardage in the NFL coming into the night against the pass. Solomon. Bubba Paris gets a block for Solomon. Big Bubba Paris. Bring Solomon. No flags. <laughs> Freddie Solomon. I tell you, that's Big unreal. Bubba <laughs> Paris came out and got a block for Freddie Solomon, who goes 77 yards, and the 49ers are hot tonight. I tell you, they are. The play didn't look like it would go. The big John Ayers was supposed to get out and kick on the corner. He didn't get there. But Freddie Solomon's always been a great open field runner. One spectacular play of his. We must be in San Francisco. Happy faces. San Francisco's longest play of the season. And the 31st reception for Solomon has had knee and rib problems this season. Wershing getting a workout here in the first quarter. Flags are everywhere. Dallas is probably offside. Bob McAlee will oh, sort it out. Number 66. Uh -huh. Other okay. way. Well, I tell you, that pretty Solomon. I recall a game uh, when he was with the Dolphins against the Buffalo Bills. He had a 79-yard punt return for a touchdown, a 53-yard reception, and he ran a reverse on us for 59 <laughs> yards. He was hot. Oh, he was hot that day. <laughs> yeah, that something. His nine-year career, he's over 8,000 yards of offense. He used to do everything. Thank you. you. You call Bubba Paris's name. He was one of the lead blockers. They actually got two good blocks out there. I didn't see who the other guy was. We'll see it on the replay. John right? Ayers, I believe, is out there with him. Well, John didn't get his block. And all the way down Philo, he just ran away He's from there. to help. Two. And that was well set up and well executed. Back to 49ers up. The conversion attempt will come from the 15 yard line. No problem. No problem. 21 to 3, the 49ers over the Cowboys. Let's look again. The big Bubba Paris, he is enormous. 
Right, that's Dennis Thurman coming up. Now, Dennis is to the outside. He just knocks him on through. Bubba almost got two when he kind of closed off Dexter Queenskiller. That's what I was trying to see. Well, you'll see Dwight Clark come in here. Actually, Dexter took a bad angle on the play. Tried to close it out. Dwight Clark downfield hustle. That's good. Good hustle by Dwight. You're right. Not some of your finer defensive executions. D. White. And the kickoff unit comes out and they receive a rousing ovation, a standing ovation. And of course, the partisan crowd. Yeah. Last couple of years, they appear to have attempted to replace uh, Solomon. They brought in Ronaldo, Nehemiah. They've been trying to get Mike Wilson ready over there, but Freddie keeps making the big play. <laughs> Freddie's his guy. He's been hurt a little bit off and on all year. A little shocker from our Univax downstairs. They've sorted it out. This is the first time in the history of Monday Night Football. Team has scored 21 points in the first quarter, and this one's not over. Oh, this is the first quarter. 337 remaining uh, yeah. in the first quarter. Uh, how about that? Hey, we had one of these earlier in the year. I guess uh, Dallas uh, was down to Washington. They came back then. Yeah, that's Where's a long time ago. Hits it. <laughs> Here comes Gary Allen. All right, they missed. I'm okay. And they had an opening they and did, it closed up on Gary Allen. He gets out over the 25-yard line. And Dallas brings their offensive unit out once again. Uh, you feel bad for Allen there because it, actually his wedge was running a little slow. If his wedge, the three guys that were in front of him would have been running a little faster. He could have popped that. I remember back in high school, you know, if you had a team on the ropes, so you'd always check and make sure that after each play, if the offensive team hustled back to their huddle or they walked back right. to the huddle. Now, if they walked back, we always thought we had them. Let's, take a, let's look at Dallas and see if they run or walk back that huddle. Can you play. remember that point? I can remember that. I got a great memory. <laughs> First and ten, door set, single setback. Just... Any White, uh, the primary receiver was covered. And he stood there a little bit stoically, That's... and Jim Stuckey nailed him. Let's see if they're just going to hustle back in there now. Does that look like an offensive unit full of enthusiasm? No, not at all. They surprised him. They came out with a four-man line. I guess the 49ers realized the Cowboys must throw. They've got him in there, just they've got Fred Dean. They usually bring him in on what they anticipate is going to be passed, and they just figured Dallas was going to have to put it in the air. So they're going with a four-man down. <laughs> Didn't take San Francisco long. That's <laughs> unbelievable. And not too misleading because San Francisco leads 21 to 3. 21 to 3 and had the ball less than two minutes. Second down, 19. Oh. Danny White. Double screen attempt. He had to throw that away. He was trying to get the ball to Tony Dorsett. Keena Turner was all over Dorsett. And Danny White, to save what could have even been a safety, had to throw it away. 49ers are playing defense like they're in the Cowboys huddle. Well, they, they know if they win the game, they got two weeks off, 14 days to get ready for the next game. And this time of the season, that's a lot of time. I play hard for it, too. A lot of quiet, I would suspect, down in the Los Angeles area where the Rams are looking on. If the Cowboys could take the 49ers tonight, the Rams would be the NFC Western Division champions. First they had that Final second victory yesterday over New Orleans. Third down, extremely large yardage. Dorsett on the screen. And Dorsett gets back to the 26-yard line, far short of the first down. And out comes the punting unit. Tina Turner again. Well, they're certainly not effort. sharp, because if Dorsett would have stayed with the blocks, he could have popped. Caught right through those that block of here's the Benny Moon zone. It did look like it. They changed punters, looks like, too. Out comes Danny White. Maybe he's a better tackler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. And Dana McLemore. He still could be breathing hard. He took the last punt back. 55 yards for a 49er touchdown. Beautiful punt by Danny White. Stays up there a long time. Forces McLemore to call for the fair catch at the 31-yard line. Danny White hammers one 43 yards for Dallas. Still 154 remaining in the first quarter. Tom Landry in his 24th year. Wondering where all the wheels went when they came off. 
I think it was the fourth down, as uh, you said, Don. Fourth down last week. They went for it and didn't get it. Haven't been, been the same since. Haven't been the same since. That certainly was one wheel. <laughs> it is tough because I, I think a play a game like the game in Washington is a rather high emotion. Emotionally pitched game. They just didn't make it. So they've got to be thinking about that. What happened? First and ten. Joe Montana looks it over. White Clark in motion. And Montana doing what he can do so well. And look at Dwight. That is scrambling and getting it to this man, Dwight Clark, turning a loss into a six-yard pickup. I tell you, those Cowboys, they got all that height in the line of everybody's about 6'5", and Dwight Clark popped yeah, open over the middle rather three, early, but... Uh, but, but Montana couldn't see him. Well, he got the pressure. You're right. Yes. Watch him pop open. He works so well with Montana. He knows Montana right here is in trouble. Now, I'm going to be saying to himself, I'm going to give him an angle. He saw him look to wear some open land, and that's Tony Dickerson that was with him all the way, but he just didn't get there in time, did he? The market outside the 37, so a second down and three. Wendell. Oh. Tyler. Tyler has been troubled once again this year with the fumbles coming in critical spot for the 49ers gets the first down at the 45 yard line there's everson walls on the stop as we pointed out earlier window doesn't have as many uh, fumbles as some of the other top backs in the league but he he picks the absolute worst time he makes the highlights ball. doesn't he <laughs> cowboys anxious to get rid of this quarter uh, they let window get uh, hot it's going to be a long night he can be scintillating at times. And Aldo Nehemiah in the lineup. Scintillating. Uh, right. Wham. Tyler. That's good. And around the coach, I tell I you. Like, he'll run <laughs> Even when you don't want it to, he'll run Tyler it. got two, perhaps three. They'll bring up a second down and seven. Could well be the last play of this quarter. Tyler, of course, had super years with the Rams before coming up here in a trade this year. Not bad this year. Well over 800 yards rushing for Tyler. That's the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in a moment. Another good year, Flint, Columbia, where Captain John Clayton is carrying around Peaches Langford, our cameraman. They all wish you a very happy holiday season. Nice shot, isn't it? Oh, it is. Pretty, yeah. What a beautiful sunset they had here. And it really genuinely is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. They're happy tonight. We begin the second quarter of the 49ers near their own 49. Second down and seven, and Montana is back. What a nice move. Oh, oh and Jeff Moore doesn't handle it right in his hands. It was a good move by Moore to get open. He kind of went to the inside, did a little turn back around, had Bates freeze. He froze Bates on the inside. Then. Look First quarter stats, the time of possession, it's almost ludicrous. 11 <laughs> 25. I think that might be a little reversed. That is amazing. That is amazing. And, of course, throwing a 55-yard punt return by McLemore. And it's 21-3. Passing situation for Montana. And the man is wide open. Russ Francis gets the first down for the 49ers. He has not caught that many balls this year, but he's provided some rather inspirational blocking. That was his 31 reception. 31st reception of the season. He's going to be working on Michael Downs out on the outside. Tight ends, they really don't play them like the old tight ends on the inside. You saw kind of a clear out route on the inside by the wide receiver. Downs was a little late getting there. Russ is a, he's a heck of an athlete. That size, six foot six, 240. He's, he can do a lot of things. As Frank alluded to, he's by far their top blocking tight end. Speaking of tight ends, our congratulations to the Raiders, Todd Christensen. 92 receptions to lead the NFL this year. On first down, Wendell Tyler. Tyler is covered from the middle by Bob Brunig, from the outside by Mike Hagman. Frank, you mentioned that Brunig's the leading tackler, and that often happens in a Landry defense coming from the middle linebacker. That was a perfect example of where no one really got to Brunig that time. Nobody was able to get out to him. And the job that the defensive tackles and ends have, besides rushing and trying to close off the holes, is keep him off of it. Brunig broke a little, was it a, his finger or something last week? You see that cast yeah, on his uh, hand? Broken finger in that left hand, and he has a soft cast on it. There's a loss of a couple. It'll be second down and 12. Montana now 4 of 9, 98 yards, two touchdowns. Not bad for a quarter's work. Oh. Montana 
Tried to get it in quickly to Freddie Solomon, and Solomon really hit by every single Freddie won't do that anymore. He said, you're silly. You throw to me to the outside, and I'll run down the sideline. <laughs> he go back. Wait, Joe, Joe. Oh, they're going to be Ronaldo in. Skeets. Ronaldo has a word with Montana as he checks into the lineup. Of course, one of the great hurdlers of all time. Set so many records. One of the great, the career. greatest of all time. He was something else. There he is, 17 receptions. Got himself hammered a couple of weeks ago against Atlanta as the 49ers want to talk it over, either not liking their personnel or whatever it was going to work against. And we'll be back with the 49ers with a third down and 12. Move into more celebrity excitement. Eurosport. The new front drive celebrity Eurosport. Special F41 sports suspension straightens out curves in a car that looks as special as it feels. Eurosport. Move into more celebrity. Eurosport. A touch of Europe at a Chevrolet price. Chevrolet. And you. Taking charge. Budweiser salutes the coaches and trainers of the 1984 U.S. Olympic team. The gun goes off, I really want you to explode off the line. Arm swing, arm swing! To the U.S. Olympic coaches and trainers, the team behind the team, this Bud's for you. <laughs> that's a, that's and did Freddie Solomon go? If you weren't with us earlier, he went 77 yards with a Montana pass for a touchdown. Third down and 12. That's what's happened to the Cowboys over the last three years. A dramatic loss, January 10th, 1982. To these 49ers, 28-27. Look out, Randy White's right there. Look Picked out. Off. All right. There this is Michael Downs. And the Cowboys get a turnover. Downs brings it back to the 37-yard line of the 49ers. One of those situations, Frank, uh, Randy White, in my opinion, caused that. He didn't hit Montana, but I know Montana knew he was right there in the area, and he was right behind him. Well, the play was a rollout. Uh, there's an old rule, never throw late over the middle. What? Now, you watch from the backside. Here's going to come Randy White. Joe says, hold it. Wait a minute. I see somebody coming in a hurry, and there's Big Randy. Didn't quite get it over. Michael Downs. That's a pretty little nifty job here, OJ. Look at it. He's not carrying the ball the way he's supposed to, though, right? No. But he's got it, and that's what counts. I think the defense is back. First down and 10 Dallas. Paz Derrick is at left tackle for Donovan. And that's Paz Derrick who moved too quickly. Just want to make sure he knew he, he, he he's in there. I mean, you know. A lot of time, those guys, you never know. We huh? hear from them. That's too bad. Donovan, we understand. Sore knee. Number 75, Hoffman. And Donovan will not be back. Cause Derek, huge man from Notre Dame, 275-pounder. He's 6'9". We'll go back and watch that interception as Michael Downs picks it off for the Cowboys turnover. He just kind of rolled out to the outside. I think it was probably designed that way. He just didn't see downs in it. That happens a lot when you've got to throw back across the drain a little bit. A lot of white shirts out there didn't get it up. Bad throw. Loss of five on the penalty. It'll be first down and 15. Cowboys inside the Niners 42-yard line. That's Donnelly up at the top of your screen. Tony Hill split to the right. That's Cosby in motion. Billy Joe. White. Billy Joe Dupree. Not much. Two, maybe three. It'll be second down and 13. Jack Reynolds made the stop for the 49ers. Well, hey, don't go too deep. Oh, Jack's going to get him, but he's not going to run with him too deep. But no. Reynolds kind of covers that middle pretty handily, and Billy Joe came out. Two tight end situation. A little delayed route across the middle. One yeah. of the hardest hits I've ever had was brought by Jack Reynolds. Really? Yep. Couldn't see the scoreboard. Was looking up there saying, uh, Who? what are all those lights? <laughs> He'll tag you. He'll give you a light show. <laughs> Howard Richards is in the lineup offensively also for Dallas. He's at right guard. Kirk Peterson out of the lineup. 
Second and long for Danny White. That's the time. Screen to Springs and a good recovery by Fred Dean. They had him down. He gets up and reacts, makes that tackle. That could have been a big gainer. Yeah, Keita Turner made him, made, slowed him up just enough for Fred Dean to come back and make the tackle. That Keita Turner, you don't read about him around the league, but he's one super young linebacker. 58. Let's pause five seconds and allow our friends at our local stations to identify themselves. Early moments of the second quarter. San Francisco stunning Dallas. They lead 21 to 3. Third and long from the shotgun. The Cowboys will operate. Danny White looking for Donnelly. Good Donnelly catch. comes down with it at the 10 yard oh, line. Yeah. And a great shot by Danny White, but he was well covered by Ronnie Lott. And yet Donnelly was able to come down with it. Terrific, uh, just athletic ability on Donnelly's part. In my, my estimation, he turns to see him kind of turn in the air. The shield's a lot away this. from it. See, he turned all the way around. That's that's nice move there, Doug. There he is. You mentioned all the records he set at Ohio State, where they really didn't throw the ball that frequently. Ronnie Lott did have him pretty well covered, yeah, didn't he? Oh, yeah. he was perfect. Yeah. No off balance running away from the ball. I thought they were trying to hit Hill coming underneath them on a delay pattern. All the flack that comes out of Dallas says that Donnelly is the fastest cowboy. That includes Tony Dorsett. They all call him White Lightning down there. Dorsett. Tina Turner misses. Uh, and a swarming 49er defense. Stops Dorsett for a loss of five, but it was Keena Turner that took him wide, and Dwayne Board was there. He missed also, but he slowed him up, and Jack Reynolds got there. That's not a good feeling. When you get out there, you see those red shirts. You wonder, where are you guys? Where's my guys? Yeah, Tony made a statement, and he apologized later on. He says, I'm not, the reason I'm not getting all these yards, I'm not getting the blocking I used to. And I'm sure as soon as he said it, he wishes he hadn't. <laughs> so I, I'm smart enough. I don't say things yeah. like that. That was one of those plays that, oh, you want to know what no blocking is? This is it. <laughs> uh, he only needs 37 yards tonight to have the second best rushing year of his career. Looking for Cosby, has to check off the springs, and we should get an interference call. Maybe on springs. It could uh, well be. It was gonna... Willie Harper covering springs, and I think it's going to work against Willie Harper. Yeah. Well, Willie jumped right into, right in his path, and uh, springs couldn't do anything but run, run over him. Had a lot of time to throw that time. That's unusual. Uh, maybe through their time. That's out. interference. Number 59. Crowd doesn't like it, but I don't think they're going to like anything that goes against yeah. the 49ers tonight. We'll take a look at it from the roof. Watch number 20. He'll come out on a flare to the right. Cosby, the bottom of your screen, he slips and falls. And Harper, number 59, he's also at the bottom of your screen. You see Springs turns up field, and they call that. That was well, tough. That's you can't hit him five yards down the field. Well, he didn't look like, like he say. hit him. He looked like he jumped in front of him. Yeah. Well, uh, who knows? Well, he, he made that turn up field, and there was Harper. Probably a good call. That's the first down. Goal to go near the five-yard line. Whether it's a good one or not, it, it was a <laughs> call. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cannot impede the progress of the football. Yeah, the Cowboys can get right back into it here. <laughs> that's Dorsett. And he spins back inside, down close to the two-yard line, where it'll be second down, goal to go. You mentioned earlier that Ronnie Lott's a leading tackler. That time he came in from a... It's kind of unusual, too. Play out in that corner and he'd be the leading tackler on the team. He got back in there that time so quick. He was the guy that hit Dorsett, knocked him off balance. Could have possibly slipped in the middle. Certainly gotten closer to that goal line had it not been for Lott. And you saw Dorsett spin. You know, that when I came out of high school, that was one thing they taught about. Don't spin. Always go upfield. And Dorsett has perfected that. And it's an offensive weapon for him. He uses it quite a bit. They marked it at the three. Second down, goal to go. Ron Springs struggles close to the goal line. No indication. So they'll mark it inside the one. Dwight Hicks helping out the goal line defense coming up from the safety position. It's third and goal at the one. And the crowd, you can hear it start to build. At the 
Two tackles in there instead of the ends. Man at every gap. Springs. And no, he's short. Now, from this thing, it looked like he got over. Sure did, didn't it? Yeah, it looked That's like he had it pushed in. in wonder the about videotape replays because it looked like he got in. The headline's been right on top of it. Fourth down, and I think if you're trailing 21 to 3, you've got to go. Think, yeah. Let's look at it though. again. It's going to be a straight handoff right here on the right side. Looked like they got enough push in the middle. Boy. Oh, I would say he was over. I'd say he was over, too. <laughs> Well, they said he wasn't, so we're yep. going to get a fourth down. <laughs> so let's go with the call, right? Well, we're looking at from the way, this is the way the official saw it. And so he may have lost it a little bit. Uh, Still he, looked he over looks like me. he's over, yeah. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Cowboys will go. Anyway, Ooh. over the top, touchdown, right. Ellis. <laughs> I didn't think he made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he made it. Turn about, fair right play. Right on the back of Rafferty, and the Cowboys <laughs> back in it. We couldn't have very much to go, though, because it had to be inside. Right, let's look at this one. Yeah, the whole thing about the ball has to break the plane, right? He got it over there and then pulled it back All right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I would say he didn't make that one, but I think that official may have said, well, Look at know. that movement. He put the ball over and then kind of tucked it back in. Well, if he pushed it over, it was good. Yeah. He can come back, but he didn't look like he made it. <laughs> Dallas. Gets the touchdown. Michael down. Set it all off with an interception and a return to the 49ers 37-yard line. Except in for the conversion. So now Dallas has got 10 points hung up. They trail by 11. We have 8-11 remaining in the first half. Cable cars in San Francisco. They've been out of action for a while. They tell us they're going to be working once again in June. We hope so. They're such a part of the tradition of this beautiful city. Except in to kick off for the Cowboys. Jeff Moore takes it at the five-yard line for the Niners. Got a hole. There's a big hole. Jeff Moore to midfield and into Cowboy territory at the 49. The former Seattle Seahawk, who really has turned into a fine receiver for these 49ers, sets up the Niners once again. Let's see it. They got a little left return on and got some good blocking. I guess that's Downs there slowed him up a little bit. Seption, number one. Gets a helmet in there. Everson, very nice run. Everson had to come over and do that. There he is. Three fine years up there with Seattle. Game to the 49ers, 81, actually last year. 49ers, good field position once again. <laughs> Montana rolls out, throws it away, incomplete. It'll be second down at 10. We can remind you, bowl time here on ABC. We'll be bringing you the Gator Bowl Friday, December 30th, live at 8 o'clock Eastern time, Florida against Iowa. Two strong passing teams. Florida with their firing quarterback Wayne Peace. Iowa led by quarterback Chuck Long. And then the Sugar Bowl. Monday, January the 2nd, live, 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Auburn against Michigan. Southeast Conference champion Auburn headed by Bo Jackson, one of the finest oh, running backs I've seen in ages. Okay. They go against Michigan. Auburn and Michigan. Bowl time here on ABC. Second and 10. Montana chased out again. Merrick. And Montana wisely steps out of bounds. Dallas with their six defenders downfield had everyone covered like a blanket, but there will be a loss of five yards. I tell you, that was one of the few times I saw Joe Montana show a little emotion. He looked like he was yelling at someone. I, I think he may be upset because you see up at the top, that's Solomon. Bottom, you've got Dwight Clark. I don't think Solomon came back to help him. He's looking for some help. Let's just look and see. He hasn't looked yet. Solomon's Pretty well covered. What oh. game is Solomon in? Yeah, Solomon, he, he is, I think that's what he's upset at because Solomon never looked back at him. He said, wait a minute, guy, i got to throw the ball to somebody. They're down in 16. Not a good situation against a Dallas defense. Dwight Clark had worked himself relatively open in front of Ron Fellows. But again, Montana under pressure. They get Jones was in there. Smerick. 
It's a good uh, example, uh, Frank, of what Ed Jones does. We've seen him so many times. You've talked about his height, and, and that's really what it was. He just intimidates you. You've got Big Ed coming back. Now, that's a... You're just going to subconsciously adjust that throw a little bit when you've got somebody like that in front of you. One of five Cowboys heading for the Pro Bowl, Ed Jones. Well, with Six his defensive nine. line teammate, Randy White. January the 29th, you'll see it here on ABC. And Tom Orris kicks away. Gary Allen is back there for Dallas. Let's it bounce. One hands it at this 14-yard line. Uh oh Gary Allen. Uh oh out over the 30-yard line. Good effort by Gary Allen. That could have been deep trouble for Dallas somewhere back around the 12 or 13-yard line. But Allen one-handed it and gave the Cowboys a first down out of the own 32. John, we're impressed with your deferred compensation. Your disability income and your pension plans. However, Northwestern Mutual can tailor better business programs for our executives. You're going with the quiet company? We are. Check, please. Our customized business plans. Another leadership innovation available only from agents with Northwestern Mutual Life, the quiet company. They're a tough act to follow. I know. I know. You could spend all your free time analyzing your investment options. You could spend a small fortune on books, research, and financial guides. And even after you make your decisions, your investments don't take care of themselves. Now's the time to talk to First City. We can develop an organized plan for your financial growth and then help manage your investments so you can spend less time worrying about your money and more time enjoying it. First City, reaching further, doing more. Barbara Streisand, America's favorite funny girl, grows up Sunday in Funny Lady. Just think, Don, if you'd have had this to work with, like Tony Bennett, oh, man. you might have learned another song. <laughs> no, there's just no telling what I could have done in a town like this. It is a neat town, you know. Or to San Francisco. O.J.'s hometown. That's the port yeah. of San Francisco right there. Ah, at the bottom wow, of the right at the bottom of the screen. That is pretty. You light from Market Street there. You can barely see it now. And their 49ers have a 21-10 lead over Dallas. 7-21 remaining in the first half. Dallas, first down and 10 near the Rome 32-yard line. Danny White. Oh, yeah, but Butch Johnson, and he makes the reception out at the 44-yard line, right in front of Ronnie Lott. Dallas is beginning to wake up a little here, Don. They really are. You can see him kind of slipping back a little bit. Now, see, they're picking up the pace going back to the huddle, too. Usually always starts here, though. Jay, you get a little bit of time to throw. They bring Harper in. Didn't do any good, so if Harper's going to leave, that means we got man coverage downfield. Butch made a good adjustment to come back for that ball. How many times do you see receivers not do that, and that thing comes, comes up a little bit short? Well, he's a very heady player, Butch Johnson. He'd like to play more, grumbles a little bit about it, but he makes big plays and having his finest year for Dallas. Had four starts earlier in the season. First down and 10, 44-yard line. All right. set. Into 49er territory, a pickup of seven inside the 49-yard line. Kugler tripped him up, falling off from his nose tackle position. 49ers are still lining up with four down linemen. They, evidently, they feel Dallas uh, still thinking about throwing the football, and Dallas crossed them up there a little bit on first down. Time remaining in the first half. We're going to give you a little better picture of the playoffs as they were resolved yesterday and will be resolved tonight at halftime. We're set now 18 yards on nine carries. Pretty well contained. We're set again. Hurdles over the line of scrimmage. Gets the first down at the 45-yard line. <laughs> One of my old friends. Ben. <laughs> Get it on, Sandy. Ho, ho, ho. It's not California. It's not the same feeling as it is in colder parts of the country. And boy, it is cold in certain parts of the country, the Midwest. We are sympathizing with you, and if you're with us tonight, I hope you're enjoying the telecast. You bet. First down and 10, Dallas. That's caused the motion. Danny White, Tony Hill. Oh, yeah. Good Tony move. Hill yeah. on the sidelines. 
They marked him as stepping out near the 18-yard line. No, now back at the 25-yard line. That was Eric Wright that had him out on the man-to-man -man coverage, O.J., and that's awfully hard to do, isn't it? Yeah, well, when, when Tony put his move out, Eric Wright literally slipped, and he just couldn't get out there to make the play. Saw a little, a little play fake in the middle, held Ricky Ellison in there, freed him up on the outside. Yeah, this is the guy that knew what to do yeah, with the line. Right there. there, he got it. Right at the 25-yard line. But another Dallas first down. Dallas getting it back together. And they get one more on the fourth half time, and it's going to be tough that second half. Tony Hill, split to the left, puts Johnson to the right. Danny White tried to get a screen to Dorsett, and Dorsett wisely read it, turned up, and now flags are down. And Paz Derrick is the one saying it wasn't me, so I assume that it was. And I believe we're going to get Paz Derrick, who's filling in for Pat Donovan. He's got a big role to play in that Dallas offensive line, because he's usually facing Dwayne Board or Fred Dean, which is six and a half, one or a dozen, or whatever you call it. They're, they really will put the wood to you. That's hard to say. Holding number 75, offense. First down. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have better have thought about it. I know, yeah. He'll sit up the top, and he's he's got him working against Board. Board had came in at a night with 13 sacks. He didn't hear that much about him because of Dean coming in with 17 and a half. They back him up 10. Down in the same. First down and 20. The Cowboys at the 49ers, 35. Another flag is down. White drills it to Dorsett. Look at Tony D go. Oh, he's fine, but he gets oh, yeah, open. Yeah. Again, flags are down. Saw a little motion. Looked like at the line of scrimmage before that one started. And it will be illegal motion against Dallas. And they'll back him up five more. Those things really do hurt. A little, yeah, there ought to be a new category. Forget with penalties and so forth, but call it critical penalties or something that's a, a play stopping. Yeah, Legal just... motion, number 20, turning up field before the snap. Uh, First down. You could call them dumb penalties. Yeah. I tell you what's been fun to watch for me tonight is to watch Fred Dean. He's gotten close to sacking White a few times, you know. Everybody in the league, all the players in the league, would like to have those individual titles. He's two sacks away from Mark Gastineau, who leads uh -huh. the league. Two sacks, he can lead the league. And... I could imagine how he feels. The other day, I'm watching uh, Riggins run the ball, and every time he got near the goal line, I knew he was about to break my record. <laughs> touchdowns. I want to congratulate John anyway. 24 <laughs> touchdowns. That's a super year, John. That really is, isn't it? All rushing. Dallas first down and 25. They had a first down at the 25-yard line of the 49ers. They're back at the 40. And he White trying to get it to Tony Hill. Almost. Eric Wright defending. It was a good drop that time by Harper, who made Danny really have to throw that ball up a little bit. Well, they turned things around somewhat. This is obviously not the first quarter, is it? This is Dallas's quarter. My gosh, that's an amazing stat. Dallas has been known to turn it around, though. Think about the 21 points they scored in a minute and 41 seconds Second. of ball possession. Now, that's putting some points on the board. Second down and 25. Donnie is in there. Hill is clipped to the right. Butch Johnson in the slot. And all the folks are in the pattern. And for Donnelly, Donnelly goes up. Had to hurt, didn't it? Working against Williamson, and he will put a sting on you. If they don't come away with some, if they, Dallas does not score some points here, you can take this one right straight back to two penalties. He's got a holding penalty and a motion penalty. From the other side, let's look at it again. He puts the ball up where it's got to be. It's pretty good coverage back here, though, Jack. Yeah, it looks like it's a jump ball coming up here. Look Everybody has a right to the ball. Good concentration by Donnelly's. He would have had that ball had not good coverage, as you say, by Carlton Williamson. Williamson coming in there. They're down 25. Cowboys trying to get it. All back and their first two plays, rather than taking a piece of it, now they've got to go for all of it. On strings. 
And he will put the Cowboys within field goal range for Rafael Septien. It is that situation that it's a, it's sort of sad that they can't keep Tony Dorsett in the game or they don't have enough confidence in his uh, uh, receiving ability because he's the guy you want to get the ball. If you have to throw under the defense, because he can make something happen after he catches it. He really can, can he? Septian is on. 3.50 in the clock continues to move, remaining in the first half. Ben Carano is a holder. Rafferty will snap it back. That'll be a 46-yard attempt. On its way. Yep. And off to the right. The 49ers get it back. And the line of scrimmage is the 29-yard line. Except in. This is on a 46-yard attempt. Back at Candlestick in just a moment. Sweetest bowl of the year. Number three ranked Auburn tries to stir things up with Michigan in the Sugar Bowl. January 2nd on ABC. That's OJ's pleasure boat that he keeps up in the harbor. <laughs> Florida, he's not running around with it because he's so wealthy. Meredith. Oh, boy. You ever been on one of those? I get seasick. I get seasick. Uh, I don't even take baths. I shower. I get seasick in the tub. I like that. Yeah, I get seasick in the bathtub. First down, 49ers. They have time to work with. 329. They have two timeouts remaining. They have the ball at their own 29-yard line. Roger Craig and the rookie who made it big with the 49ers. That's up to the 35-yard line. Gain of six. It'll be second and four. Randy White. In on the stop for Dallas. Yeah, Craig has really turned out to be a super player for the 49ers. He runs the ball real hard and he catches the ball well. He's real popular with the guys. He just does his work and he doesn't talk too much. I say, OJ, that he every play he runs it like it's going to be the last one. He must be young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll learn about that. <laughs> Wendell Tyler, and he's held short of a first down. Gets almost three out of it. Don Smerrick defensively for Dallas. Saw uh, Anthony Dickerson take a shot at our tight end, Russ Francis, there. Well, he shouldn't do that to Russ. Oh. I wonder once again what's on the line tonight that the 49ers can win it. They will win the Western Division of the NFC. And should they lose it, the Rams will win the Western Division. And whoever the division winner is gets next weekend off. I was the Niners lose it. As a matter of fact, they'll play Dallas next Monday. Third down, long one, short two, depending upon how you want to look at it. Flags. Pretty much motion back in that back here. The two folks moving around at the same time. Looked like it, didn't it? Three Montana officials get picked down. it up. Yeah, Montana didn't get the first down, so in any event, they would probably have to punt. I would think so. Fourth down. Two Cowboys minutes. have three timeouts. We're down to two minutes on the clock. So the Cowboys are going to get it back. We have the two-minute warning. We'll be back with the final two minutes of the first half in a moment. Those three made it look easy as the 49ers erupted for 21 points. In the first quarter, Roger Craig scoring on a Joe Montana six-yard pass. McLemore returned a punt 55 yards for the 49ers. Joe Montana hit Freddie Solomon in the flat. Little screen to the flanker, if you will. He went 77 yards with it. Danny White got the Cowboys rolling again. He scored on a fourth down on a quarterback sneak, and Rafael Sepien had a 47-yard field goal. So we're 21 to 10, the 49ers over the Cowboys. And I know that one of our good friends, Doug Todd, the publicity man and a good pal of all of ours, will be watching and enjoying from the Baylor Medical Center down in Dallas. We send him our very best wishes for a real quick get up and get around. You just take better care of yourself, Todd. You yeah. hear me? Horace the punt for the 49ers. Gary Allen dropping for Dallas inside his own 20.
A beautiful punt by Oris. Takes Gary Allen all the way back to the seven-yard line. There's a flag. Always the flag on yeah. the kicks. I got one. I got one. Allen all the way back to the 30-yard line. That flag has been dropped at the 14. I think it's Jeff Rowan this time. I, I, I saw you, Jeff. You did it. Cowboys have really hurt themselves here in the closing moments of the first half. They really just kind of staggered around, haven't they? They've only had a few bad plays in the whole game. Defensively, they've been great. If you take away uh, Montana, I mean, if you take away Freddie Solomon's uh, indiv individual effort on that 77-yard touchdown run, the 49ers only had 36 total yards. Mm. But they have 21 points. That's what they keep count of. Illegal block above the waist. Number 50 on the return. The dandy one has eyes like an eagle, Jeff Roar. You know, O.J., that gone to for a record number of yards against these 49ers. I think it still stands, 460 yards back in his youth. He didn't know it until I told him about it this morning in the production meeting. Well, you yeah. told us all. Yeah, I know, I know. I thought, well, I wanted a graphic of that. I, did, I just, In doing my research for the game, I stumbled into that. Of course. But the Cowboys are backed up inside their seven. They have three timeouts. 146 remaining in the half. Now to Tony Hill. Tony Hill gets a little breathing room. Yeah, when you get the ball that quick, you can't you can't step a step too much. You gotta get going. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be there. Gain of six. Uh, It'll be second down and four. Those other red shirts are going to get there. you got to throw one move and try to get by those guys. He is the guy they want to try to get the ball to, though, to break it. As you mentioned earlier, he's maybe the better runner of those outside receivers. Tony Hill. Thrill Hill. Dallas is thinking of points. The seconds are ticking away. 110, and it's moving. Set. Spun a little early that time. Yeah. Why did the coach tell you not to spin, OJ? What, what was that? Because you never know what you're going to turn into. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, it's usually bad. <laughs> timeout now, Carl. The 49ers take timeout. They'd like to get the football back. We'll be back after this message from the National Football League. I'm Randy Ware of the Dallas Cowboys, and this is my family. My wife, Vicki, and our daughter, Jordan. Vicki and I are United Way volunteers. We support the work of the United Way because they help families. They care about people. We're blessed, and we're thankful for all we have, and we know that the United Way gives us all a chance to help. For all families, yours and mine, we want to say thanks. Because thanks to you, it works for all of us, the United Way. This summer in Los Angeles, more than 150 countries will compete in the Olympic Games. Every country funds its team except one, the U.S. Why? Because the U.S. team is truly our team, not government financed or controlled. It represents you and me, all of us. To win in Los Angeles takes training. Training takes money. You can show your support of our U.S. team by sending a contribution to the U.S. Olympic Fund, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80950. Thank you. Andy Wyatt and Commissioner Pete Rozelle teaming up to bring you that message as a public service by the National Football League. 49ers are down to one timeout. 47 seconds remaining in the half. Dallas confronted with a third down and four. The ball at their own 13-yard line. Good shot. That was Butch Johnson, a timing pass. From Danny White, he threw it actually before Butch even broke. That was beautifully timed, wasn't it? That was right at us. You can see that ball delivered, leave Danny's hand, came right in there. Butch made a good move. Cowboys near their own 25-yard line. Cowboys have three timeouts. And they have 43 seconds. You can cover a lot of territory with three timeouts and 43 seconds. Dallas has done it many, many times. They're successful, and probably even if they're not, we'll see them go into the hurry-up offense. Ronnie White. That's 
Oh. Almost picked off. Did he have possession? Oh. No, it was Keena Turner oh. it right in his hands. <laughs> that was just a good effort. That looked like six written oh. all over it, didn't he it? Was, Puts he was Johnson wondering. responsible for saving the six-pointer. Uh. I think Keener was wondering what he was going to do with the ball when he got to the end zone. If he was going to do a backflip or just strike the ball. <laughs> he was into his, his feet. Yeah. His dance, huh? Yeah, he was into it. What am I going to do here? Well, that's... Is that Ron Springs? It is. Yeah. Yeah, Springs. It, uh, the ball was intended for, and uh, Keener just stepped right in front of him there. That was a good move. He just didn't hold on to it. Second down and 10. 36 seconds. Shotgun once again. A draw to Springs, and Springs tripped up, taken from behind by Jeff Stover. And now Dallas wants timeout. Once again, it's sort of a shame that Tony Dorsett is not in the game uh, in this situation, because he's the guy you want to have the ball. You know, we hear a lot of sounds in the course of a telecast, and we like to let you know what happens. Now, there are 54 sound inputs into the audio console. You're looking at it. 21 of which are microphones and various other sources, including our announcing microphones and videotape mach machines, etc. Senior audio man Jack Kestenbaum is responsible for the complete sound product. Sometimes his ten fingers can wipe us all out. You mean and Jack? And I will continue to... Jack did... Wait a minute. Jack... Jack's been able to do that. Jack's been able to do that all year. I didn't know that. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, I bet you folks knew Jack could do that. He'd be one of the most popular guys in town. He'd get Jack, help everywhere. Turn me back on, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's we get a kick out of showing you how some of this fancy hardware works. Uh -huh. As I mentioned before, in the coming year with our vast Olympic coverage, we're going to see a lot of it. This is what Jack is looking at from his console, the audio console. Uh, Jack, your mother's going to be so happy. She really is. Talented group. Playing with a lot of expensive toys. And at the end of the game, you're going to take a look at great moments that we've had through Monday Night Football this year and also meet all the people that have made it possible. Third down and seven for Dallas. Danny White, right on the Tony money, Hill, and Tony Hill with the first down at the 44-yard line in front of Richard Blackmore with 20 seconds remaining. Fred Dean really hit White that time, and I got a feeling when Danny gets up from this lick, he has a word with the referee right behind him. But that's really a well-thrown ball under some pretty heavy pressure right there. That was uh, right in right his arm. Take another look at it. Danny says, okay, guys. Fred Dean, 74, comes in. Whoop! He says, goodness, a life fella, leave me alone. That was Hill's fifth reception of the night. And again, 20 seconds remain. San Francisco on top by 11 points. 21 to 10. 49ers shuffling around defensively. Ball not free from Danny White. Jeff Stover knocked it out of the hand of Danny White. The 49ers have it. Well, the 40 Niners may have found a new defense of alignment. They were confused. Dwayne Board Look at the official. Lining up the tackle. Look at the official. referee says it goes that way. Uh, he got in there. Pop he ran the ball. Away. Dwayne Board ended up lining up a tackle. They were confused, and they got the first, well, turnover. Not the first turnover, but almost a sack. They ended up with the ball. That's what counts. And Stover knocked it out of the hands of Danny White. Watch two, 72. Two guys are blocking on Fred Dean at the top. And watch 72 come around. It should have held him, I guess. He just wiped it right out of his hand. Good hustle. 49ers have one timeout. 12 seconds on the clock. They are at the 34-yard line of the Cowboys. One for Dallas's help. That 49er offense wouldn't have done much at all today. Well, they wouldn't have done much. One a brilliant individual effort on the offensive part. Between the punt coverage, the penalties. Craig in motion. Montana wisely kills the clock. He has nine seconds remaining. Craig was picked up, covered nicely by Anthony Dickerson out of the flat. Pretty lengthy field goal attempt from that particular position right there. Nine seconds. 
Think they'll try to get it a little bit closer? Oh, yeah. Worsham doesn't have the longest leg, you know, for kicking in the league, but he is one of the more consistent kickers, and he's one of the few kickers that are totally loved by his players. I mean, they totally love him. He's one of the most popular 49ers. But then he kick. Second and ten. Great pressure. Harvey Martin, Martin looked like he beat the ball off the line of scrimmage. The crowd thinks so, too. Harvey says, I'll just quit. What we call a rolling start right there. <laughs> the beautiful, beautiful Harvey Martin. He just got him a good head start. Yeah, he's got to run around a lot of man and Bubba Paris. Bubba is spending his evening handling Harvey Martin or trying to. I read an article about Harvey. You get a little, paid a little money to be beautiful. Had some of his jaw cut away. Yeah, I'm proud of him, brother. He really is. Down in 10 now. It's going to be a question of six seconds. If they get something going, will they be able to stop the clock? Randy right. White. Incomplete. Kick the ball. That should be a penalty. Randy White kicked the ball, which is normally a penalty. No flag at the moment. But that would move it much closer for Wershing, the field goal kicker. No flag. Could have been a costly little uh, mistake there. He certainly could have. Let's watch this. He blocks it. And I think he thought maybe he could have caught it, but watch him kick it. Deliberately kicked it. Oh. <laughs> Bates said, wait a minute. Well, yeah, I just came in here. Hey, Bates, Bates has become kind of a little <laughs> pop hero down in Dallas. Came up as a free agent in Tennessee. No one ever heard of him. He started hitting folks and made himself a spot. He's got to be close to a record here for Ray. 52-yard attempt. He has hit one from 52 this year, so he's capable. He has hit another one, huh? Well, so, mm, so that's short. Okay. And time expires here at halftime. 21 to 10, the 49ers over the Cowboys will be ready for our halftime highlights after this message and then a word from our local stations. The numbers aren't too impressive, but they were very effective. One on a touchdown pass to Roger Craig at six yards. And sandwich in between a 55-yard punt return by Daniel McLemore of Joe Montana. Hit Freddie Solomon for a 77-yard touchdown pass. Danny White, meanwhile, 16 of 24, 166 yards, one interception. Not a whole lot of offense by the 49ers, but it's been timely. It was sent off right after the kickoff, and Lawrence Pillars intercepted a Danny White deflection off of linebacker Peter Turner. And a couple of plays later, it was Montana getting it to Roger Craig for a six-yard touchdown pass. You know, you saw the figure coming in. It would be some conservative offense. I didn't. I, I wouldn't think they would want to show everything this week, especially with the possibility that they would play next week. And I'm sure both teams were counting on some individual efforts. That's why the 49ers have gotten the the big individual effort. We are repeated on for Dallas. They're going to play next Monday no matter what. And if they can beat the 49ers tonight, they have the 49ers again next Monday. And the Dallas, he stepped in. Kicking off for Dallas, Jeff Moore steps up, takes it with the 17 yard line. And he steps out of bounds near the 25 yard line. Of course, if the 49ers can win tonight, they'll be the Western Division champions of the NFC. They'll get a week off before they have to go to work again. As the first quarter stops, and we're going to roll it over for you. See, you can see with the timing that it was San Francisco that had the big plays. And Dallas brought it up much more even as they work through the second quarter. It's still time of possession, almost ridiculous. It really is amazing. It's amazing. 49ers with the least yardage of any game they've played in the first half against Dallas tonight. On first down and 10, Montana's back. With a big right car, Clark is wide open in front of Fellows. Put a drive on Fellows. Fellows went with it, broke it out, and Montana smoked it out to him. Boy, isn't that something? Total yards. That's running in pass. Correct. San Francisco almost went home in the second quarter. But they're on a move once again. They have the ball, first down and 10, just out over their own 44 yard line. That was a good shot. Montana to Clark. Clark took it up deep. Montana released it on the break. Right on target. Roger Craig is in there. And they get it to him up the middle. And he hammers the three. 
four yards. Randy White and Anthony Dickinson defensively there. So I mentioned, mentioned a moment ago, and was just unable to get anything happening other than the big play. That's amazing. They got 21 points on the board. 106 total yards in the first half. And they have field position the entire first half. Second down and six. A clear old defense to see why he's going for any draw play. Great. That could be short of the first down. And then that third down and about a yard. Oh, it's too bad Roger couldn't got, it couldn't have gotten to the, the, the left a little more. He had a lot of room over there. But Randy White had a still made at the line of scrimmage and forced him to come over here to his right where a few other boys, a few other Cowboys is waiting. Lawrence Pillars was injured for the 49ers in the early going. And also, Brad Donovan for the Cowboys. You don't think you'll see them back tonight. Third down and one. And uh, Joe Montana wants to turn out. And he'll walk over and talk it over with Edgar Phil Walsh. And we'll be back to a uh, very electrified candlestick. <laughs> One of the very special places here in the city by the bay, San Francisco, Fisherman's Wood. But no fisherman. He wants, wants. They're down and one to the 49ers. And at the Cowboys, 47. Roger Cole, who has the first down inside the 45 yard line, hit their first by Randy White. Dang it. Great football game tonight. He's been everywhere, Randy White. Uh, Randy White's out there. Uh, Brunig is the guy who's supposed to cut this off. John Ayers is going to number 68. He's going to block him. White breaks the tackle. Comes through. C68. Ayers blocking on Brunig. That's Brunig's man. Well, Ayers did, did his job. He made a Randy White go around him, go away from where the play was going. And Randy is a credit to Randy's speed that he was able to get to the tackle. And that's soon enough. 43 yard line, 49 our first down. Greg once again, this time hit at the line of scrimmage and just bulls his way for a couple of yards. Randy White again. And bring up second down and eight, and we'll pause five seconds and allow our specials to identify themselves. Forty nine is Jack Clark is down holding his right knee. Oh no. Yeah, that could be a tough one, you know. Clark weighs about 210, 215. They like to line him up at the tight end position. He's a tough kid, which is surprising for a guy who catches the ball as well as he does. Not really, because he, the way he catches it, he got to be pretty tough, because he'll catch it in here over the middle, as they say. You can send right down the middle. I sure hope that knee's not bad. Well, he's been a spectacular receiver over the years. He criticized, I guess, a little up here, going at 68 receptions this year. But he criticized. Last year, he led the NFL in receptions. The third season with 60 receptions, 81, about 85, 1980, about 82. And a deep round draft pick. And let's take a look at it again. You see on the right side, the 87, he's working against Harvey Martin. And he's going to get those little knees caught up there. Up there. It was almost yeah. like he knew it was going to happen. Oh, that thing is right. Oh, right. And now he's walking off. Oh, well, that's good. That's the more he walks, he's walking a little better now. I think he's beginning to feel pretty good on it. He'll walk it off. He, he caught 28% of their completions a year ago. For the offense. This year he's down to 20%. percent they say, hey, that's not enough. What can I say? Not bad action against the Cowboys. Cowboys. That's what's the one. You'll remember for many years the touchdown passed January 10th, 1982, to win the NFC Championship. A get from Joe Montana, 49ers winning 28 27. Second down and eight, 49ers at the 41 yard line of the Cowboys. What up, wide open as Earl Cooper. And uh, they're not doing it, and they go poop, poop, poop. Well, it had to be a mixed up, I think, when you get a defense in secondary. Clay Scale was the guy who was in there. They're playing a few new defenses tonight. Uh, some of them out of necessity, some of them just because of the way it goes. Brennig is in the middle linebacker position now. But you'll see they roll out the outside. There's no help in here. There's no help. 
Oh, Jones almost hit that ball, didn't he? He almost hits all of them. He does. Thanks, Kels. A little deep that time. Well, Cooper pulled back a few years ago. They moved him to tight end. Would have been interesting if he had the throw. On first and ten. 26 yard line with the Cowboys. Montana does it so well. This time he has to settle for the line of scrimmage. Actually, uh, Russ Brant is broke open, but instead of coming back towards the quarterback, he kept going towards the end zone. If you look at Joe Montana, he's talking to Russ Brant, uh, telling him that now. You still come to me. That's really true, and it's so important when the receivers do respond to, you know, know what the, where that ball is. And a broken play or whatever it might be, you got to look for that open spot. That'll bring up the uh, second down and down. Uh -huh. Ball at the Cowboys 25 yard line. Montana, he gives you another dimension. Very heady player. Pull it out of that pocket. He can break out some big lines if you don't contain him. Cooper in motion. Here, Montana does it again and dumps it off to play again. He is taken by Everton Walls. And now he gets about seven yards inside the 20. We'll bring up third down and two. Well, it sounds like uh, Dwight Clark has a little knee sprain. They're not going to bring him back, but that's not surprising. They have a game next week, and possibly they may have a game two weeks from the day, so they're not going to risk hurting him. Well, it'll be one or the other. If they pull off this one tonight, they're going to have Christmas week off, and the Rams will be the wild card from the NFC West, and they'll have to go down and play Dallas. I'm sure if this was a championship game, Dwight Clark would be back in the game. I have to congratulate Eric Dickerson of the Rams. At 80 oh, yards boy. yesterday, 1,808 yards in his rookie season on the first down. Robinson during the final drive of his first year with the Rams. Well, something got fouled up. They spent a lot of it all year long. On a third down and two, Joe Montana has to call a timeout and the news over to the sidelines. Ring in the holidays. Ring out the year. Sparkling with Andre. Love and good cheer. Take Andre home for the holidays. Andre for the holidays. What will celebrate without Andre's champagne to lend sparkle and elegance to your good times? Greet the season and your friends with the best. Andre. For the holidays and all year long. Last year, we asked our competition to pick the best personal computer based on price and memory. They all chose the Commodore 64. With all the changes in the computer industry, we thought we'd better check again. The new IBM personal computer chose the Commodore 64. The new Apple IIe chose the Commodore 64. The more things change, the more things stay the same. Commodore, in more homes than any other home computer. <laughs> Columbia is hovering around here in San Francisco over Candlestick Park, Goodyear Blake Columbia, captained by John Creighton, Peaches Langford, our cameraman up there on a beautiful night, full moon, fog, starting to drift in somewhat as it usually does. Temperature, right around 50 degrees, 52, 53 degrees. They're down and two for the 49ers. They're down to one timeout. Little quick. Someone wasn't where they were supposed to be. Well, that would be a first. It'd be a good guess, wouldn't it? <laughs> it almost be what you call one of your accidental picks on the inside, too, because those outside were sticking your sure blocked off the inside. 18 yards touchdown. That's just a little delay coming out. Can't see from this angle what the defense really was. You can see him jump up, but there's nobody out there. You even have to have a strong safety or linebacker on him. But there was nobody close. Russ had one problem. Yeah. You know, his feet. <laughs> you know, Russ came in here from New England after he'd been out for a year and trying to take over the job as we see. First, he kicked that extra point. And we told you, Charlie Young was a very popular very player. Very popular guy with his team. And, uh, uh, they're going to be welcome with with open arms. Well, we'll be back in a minute. They love him tonight. 
<laughs> the temporary man, he's a skydiver, he's a pilot, he's a scuba diver, and he had just scored on an 18 yard touchdown pass from Joe Montana. The 49ers extending their lead over the Cowboys to 28 10, and they ran off almost five minutes in the third quarter in doing so. Cowboys have yet to have a possession in the third quarter. Wilson, Griffin's running on the ground, collected by Fellows. And Ron Fellows out over the 25 yard line. And Dallas chopped out the offense. Nine yards a ten. <laughs> but the <laughs> center that in Washington. <laughs> a doctor beating Cowboy. Cowboy. Oh, Here comes Danny White. Get it up, Danny. Yeah, we got some more time. First and ten Dallas. First possession here in the second half. Then it goes set. Then with the two tight end on fence, Doug Cosby, Billy Joe DePere, and I'll just see the Tony Hill on the 80 and Butch Johnson in 86. Crowd starting to celebrate. Could be early. The ride puts Johnson close to a first down, shy by about a foot. Well, laying off just a little bit. Well, he doesn't like that, does he? When he's well, yeah. over in, in yeah. this area. I think, you know, we had Drew Pearson this morning saying that the respect they had for Ronnie Lott. It, it appears as if the Cowboys may be running a few of their patterns a little shorter. I think they may respect this 49 in secondary. They felt, Drew said that they felt, they felt it was the best secondary in the league. I'm sure they'll get some arguments from the Raiders now that Mike Haynes is uh, getting comfortable back there. I thought they were the smartest in the they were relatively willing. Second down, less than a yard. Go set. No long, right into Willie Harper. Yeah, on the Willie Harper played it perfectly. Boy, a lot of others did too, didn't they? I've never seen so many red shirts over there in a hurry. Normally, you can, uh, Tony saw immediately he couldn't get outside. Normally, you would turn it up immediately, but I think I saw Reynolds is staring at him, and that'll, that'll keep you outside. Well, for my second and about a foot, the Cowboys have worked themselves into a third down of five to bring in the additional receivers. The 49ers answer with their secondary changes. They bring in Kyle and Blackmore. Offensive line changes for the Cowboys. Donovan is out. Phil Parsons is the left tackle. Howard Richards is in for Kirk Peterson at right guard. And he's got them. That's Danny White. Ride. Danny Hill. No way he can stay in. In the pit. Have a wide. I heard White is glad that White didn't look this side because Donnelly had him beat right off the line of scrimmage. Uh, 9 10 and maybe in the third quarter. And the Cowboys have run three offensive plays. Dana McLemore, he went 55 yards earlier for a touchdown in the first period. He is back with Danny White. We're going to punt. There's McLemore. Had an average coming in tonight of 9 3 for a return. He's improved that considerably. Hmm. Danny White, he took about three steps, had trouble dropping the ball, but he does get a Danny White bounce and a good one. And somewhere around the 26 yard line. A reminder coming up, ABC Wide World of Sports will be returning January the 7th, 5 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Central. Our opening show, the Harlem Globetrotters, they'll be in Hong Kong. We'll see it from Hong Kong. The Kong Princes of Basketball bring their entertaining addicts to the Far East in a tour of Hong Kong. And it's the first visit ever to the People's Republic of China. Also, you see the World Cup weightlifting champions get back from Tokyo, Japan. Weightlifters compete to see as the strongest man in the world, pound for pound. Wide World of Sports returning January the 7th. It's been all the 49ers here in the third quarter. Roger Craig, one of the reasons. Over the 30 to the 32 of being at six. And then right down the middle. Bill Bates made the stop. It'll be second down and four. This is the version of the Cowboys defense without Brunig. This is 4 0 kind of defense, they call it. Take Brunig out, put in Bates. Don't really have that middle linebacker. And then the 49ers respond to it by coming right up the middle. Bates plays it up very tight, almost like a linebacker. 
off the middle. They throw it up in the corner. Oh, they got a little they got front. Yeah, he's not going to get too far off the ground now. He got his alley. The hoop's gone out of his alley, huh? Those things happen. Ricky looking good. Second down, 21. Peter Niners will not get fancy with a 28 10 lead. And he's got fancy right there. That's just a nice move. Good percentage pass. This is a kid that the 49ers say is the sleeper on their club. Wilson, he comes in to. That was a good little move off the line of scrimmage. He did a great job. He was dropped yeah. by the Cowboys, you know, back in, um, I guess, 81. He was a ninth-round pick of the Dallas Cowboys. They cut him, and the 49ers really do like him. Look at the bottom of the screen now. Wilson, this is just a little quick move. One into the inside. Turned him around, and there that ball is. Good delivery by Montana. He had Erickson Wallace turned to the outside. Good quick move. Hey, the kid was an All-American in high school in both basketball and football. Still That's short of the first. is third down and five. And down the back. This time, the protection collapses. Montana goes down. Ed Jones was there. Randy White. And was Randy there. White. A sandwich to Montana. You wouldn't want to be in between Ed Jones and Randy White two times, would you? What is that they call Randy White? The Manston? Manston. Half <laughs> man, half monster. <laughs> Fourth down, Tom Orris comes out. Gary Allen drops for Dallas. Allen has had some good returns tonight. One of them negated by a penalty. Then he just returned that. Good time by Orris. Allen will let it fly into the end zone for the touchback. So not much of a pickup on that. 25 yards as the touchback will give the Cowboys the ball at their own 20. They've all produced 49 touchdowns. Roger Craig got it started. Gave him half the ball, 55 yard punt return. Teddy Solomon, 77 yard touchdown pass and run. And Russ Francis. And the 49ers lead the Dallas Cowboys 28 to 10. We have 4.43 remaining in the third quarter. First down, Dallas, their own 20 yard line. Go ahead. But they have Tony Piggott on the right side. It'll be second down and seven. Big in. Too tall. Too tough. Got to get together there, Ed. He's having a great year. Brand new one, right? Second down, seven. A little quiet here in the stadium now. Fans convinced, I think, that 49ers have locked away the Western Division of the NFC. The still up against the very special team. Down and that spring is coming out of the backfield. He'll get the first down. Danny White had a lot of time into just good coverage downfield against Tony Hill and Butch Johnson. That's where he wanted to go. He didn't really have... That many people in the pattern that time. There's Doug Donnelly was at the top of, of your screen, and they really have them pretty well covered. And neither of them made terrifically good adjustments. Donnelly took off for the goal line, and that's not really where you were to You had to come back and help. You don't get deep all the time. 49ers had a strange defense. They rushed Carlton Williamson from the safety position outside. It took him all day to get there. That's a first down, though. 32 yard line. Cosby has to come back for it, dive for it, but he gets the reception with an eight yard pickup. No, mark it. Now at the 39, give him seven, it'll be second down and three. A sportsman like move by Eric Wright that time. I hate to see guys hit somebody that's already down. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah he just went on touched him and he's down. That was nice. I like that. Speaking of Randy White, Ed Jones had a good year. Eric Wright. Pro Bowl bound for the 49ers. Six interceptions over that right corner. Number 21. Second down three. 
Danny White with a lot of time, and he has to check off to Tony Dorsett. But that uh, really Harper is right there. Let me tell you, Tony Dorsett was, was a little upset that he threw the ball to him. You know, you run out there, you say, I'm covered. The linebacker's face to me. You see that ball coming to you. <laughs> oh, you, know, you got ball. some words for the quarterback there. <laughs> he might have been able to get loose on an artificial surface, but he saw the ground give down with Tony Dorsett and Willie Harper in good position. He was surprised to see that ball coming. I can oh, tell you yeah. that. <laughs> well, is doing a fine job of covering, covering the likes of Hill and Donnelly and Rick Johnson down deep. Drew Pearson getting a rest most of the evening. He's had sore ribs and a sore knee. Very well to Bree and Charles Durant. Danny White. Butch Johnson, first down Dallas after the 48-yard line. I tell you, Butch Johnson catches per time he's in the game, is, I mean, you know, his yeah, ratio's yeah. got to be incredible. That's true. He's, he's having his best year. And he got to start four times when Tony Hill was injured. He'll be starting for practically any ball club in the NFL. But, you know, behind Tony Hill and Drew Pearson and the philosophy of the Cowboys, well, he just waits to turn. White, uh, 21 of 30, 201 yards, one interception. A lot of time for Danny White. Flag is down. Probably why he had too much time. Tony Hill has first down the right age, but call is going to go against Dallas, and Taz Derrick is all exercised once again. Tina Turner was the guy that he was dealing with that time. I like that pattern by Dallas. Uh, here, Tony Hill and, and Butch Johnson looked as if they were going to run crossing patterns, and they both started. Yeah. yeah. So I like those patterns, too. Those are, those are, uh, they're easy to, to throw. <laughs> you can throw them in a spot now. Dallas has really hurt themselves this evening. They don't think they get something going, they get a penalty. The one I think we really heard it was before the half as we listened to the call. Yeah. Charles Derrick again. Watch number 75 working at Keenan Turner. Uh, the best I can see is a shot to the head, another shot to the head. Keenan Turner saying, you so tough, why don't you do it to the defensive end? I'm a little linebacker. He outweighs Keenan Turner, almost 100 pounds. But he has Fred Dean now. Let's see what he does with Fred. First down and 25. Fred drops off. Fred ran away. Andy White somehow worked his way out, gets it out to Dorsett. And he is covered quickly. That's what I mean about a good back. Carlson Williamson is there, and Ricky Ellison, the rookie from USC. As much as he could. Yeah, he fell forward. It was funny to see Fred Dean look, look as if he was running away from him. Right? He took two steps up and ran back to his own. That's kind of a, a nice little twist in there because Fred comes in there, wasn't expecting to put that heavy blitz on. And... Look like I look when I played in you. <laughs> Run away from those big guys. Right? Well, crowd, they really packed them in here tonight. The third largest crowd ever to watch the 49ers here at Candlestick. On second down, long yardage. Danny White, he's run up for Cosby. He caught and Cosby it. comes down with an inside catch. the 20. A great effort by Doug Cosby working against Ronnie Lott. That was terrific, wasn't it? Ronnie Lott must feel snake bit tonight. That's two times he was all over his man, and his man caught the ball. Cosby gets the Cowboys inside the 49ers 20-yard line. That's the end of the third period. The Travelers Advisories and Very Cold forecast after the game. That's Ray Jason. He's a friend of Steve Azikas. Juggling assortment of objects down there, basketball.
Football. It's baseball. Probably can to Bazika. Bazika's been to everybody in the country. No more remedies than like the count. First down and ten. The Cowboys with a great effort by Cosby. Had the ball at the 18-yard line of the 49ers. And they trail 28 to 10. Danny White. Look at the Tony Hill. We're going to get an interference call. Not a lot. You know, they're working a little lot tonight. That's yeah. kind of uh, surprising to me. Maybe they want to put something on his mind because uh, the odds are they're going to play this 49er team again next week or the following week. Of course, the Rams have something to say about that. Yeah, the odds are not too good right now. They're going to play them next week, though, isn't it? They're sorting it out, and here's the call. So it was not pass interference, it was defensive holding. So the Cowboys have a first down inside the 14-yard line of the 49ers. Defensive holding. Cowboys shuffling a lot of offensive line folks back and forth. Howard Richards now back in for Kurt Peterson over at right guard. And I mentioned Cosgrove going tonight to Pat Donovan, who is taken up in the first half. Anyway. Uncover, uncover, somebody oh. uncover. There's something to somebody. There you go. Tony Hill, that must have taken 10 seconds. But Tony went both ways. He was open from it to his right. He went back to his left. And he came back to his right and finally shook his man. Now that's, but that's what you got to do. I mean, they, he had plenty of time. And they, uh, you got to uncover down there. This is going to be fun to watch. Tony Hill down at the bottom. That's Butch Johnson up at the top. Danny White, of course, the quarterback. So let's watch him go. Actually, he was trying to get the ball to Ron Springs on the fly out of the backfield. But he would probably take it to anybody, right? Oh, anyway. Well, Tony, but lazy now, but yeah. he's going to do what we used to call the Madison. Stop, go back. Look at Tony Hill. And here he comes <laughs> back again. They said, would you give me a break? That's Dwight Hicks trying to keep up with him, but then he can't do that. Too much time to throw. It's like an aerobic dance for the end zone. <laughs> Set the end for the conversion. Except in, put it through the uprights, and the Cowboys working their way back into it. The trail now, 28 to 17. All right, Kenny. The whistle blows, and John Stenerud of the Chiefs readjusts the ball, then picks an apparently successful onside kick. Now, you make the call. Is it a legal play by Stenerud? One video game system has the most going for it. It plays the most games, the best-selling games. And Television 2 has the new system changer, plus new arcade games like Bump and Jump. If you can bump them, you've got to jump them. Masters of the Universe with super graphics, you are E-Man, the most powerful human in the universe. But what you are up against is the humans. Bump and Jump and Masters of the Universe. New for in Television 2, it's got the most going for it. What call did you make? Once the whistle blows, the kicker has 30 seconds before he must start the play by kicking off. Stenerud's ruse is legal. Florida Gators, Wayne Heath, Iowa Hawkeyes, Chuck Long, the Battle of the Quarterbacks, the Gator Bowl, December 30th on ABC. <laughs> There's the night, Candlestick Park, the 49ers looking for the NFC Western Division Championship. Dallas, getting back, in the back for has the ball at the 10 yard line for the Niners. Michael Downs collects McLemore at the 18 yard line, and they'll mark it at the 19. In the fourth period, again, a reminder. As we look down from the Goodyear Brent Columbia, some of the colorful sights here in San Francisco. We are Jelly Square with the high school one block away. Great three tonight for the 49ers, and they will punch the Western Division of the NFC. Did they lose, the 49ers would be the wild card. The Rams would win the Western Division of the NFC. The 49ers with a loss could have to play Dallas again a week from today. First down and 10. Roger Frank. Great offense. Wow, is that a big opener. Hey, out of the 35-yard line. Ran down by Bruni. You asked me about a good back, a good example. Get a hole, he's gone. 
Well, he doesn't bother about anything but getting it north and south, does he? Look at Randy Cross. Gets a good pick out back block in the safety. And you just turn it uphill. Well, where is the little linebacker coming across to close that? There he is. Up to the 36-yard line. Roger Craig, the spectacular rookie. Second-round draft pick out of Nebraska. Craig, another big hole, and this time Craig goes for five over the 40-yard line. Smerrick and Anthony Dickinson defensively there for Dallas. There's Tony Hill, Randy White. Tony for the dandy, Danny White. Probably discussing why Tony Hill couldn't have opened up a little earlier. <laughs> Danny White, 49 TD passes this year. Second down and five, 41 yard line of the 49ers. Solomon, Mason down to the backfield. Randall Tyler, up to about the 44 yard line. Now, short of the first down by a couple, Anthony Dickerson <laughs> put a hit on Tyler. I think it was that little late pushback that caused a little rise in the crowd. This is way man. <laughs> They're down in two, and let's take a look at the stats as they develop through the third quarter. Halftime stats were thus. Dallas with 175 to 106 yard edge. Dallas still has the edge in total yards, but they trail by 11 points. 25 yards for rushing for Dallas. That's with Dorsey in the backfield. Third down and two. And 33 last week. Flag is down, touchdown, he'll throw that ball. Montana short of the first down, hit by Mike Hagman. It would have been a touchdown if he had looked up and saw Roger Craig. He took off along the sideline, and Joe, who normally looks downfield, didn't. Might have had a little, little heavy traffic he was in over there that time. Flag is down. Yep. Motion. Number 81. That's Francis in motion. Montana short of the first down. Penalty declined, and Dallas will get it back. <laughs> Not going to help, Russ. Ray, Gary Allen has dropped for Dallas. Gary Allen, the 31, came up with the Houston Oilers a year ago. And, uh, Sixth round draft pick. They turned him loose, and Dallas picked him up. One of the rare occasions when Dallas would pick up a player from another team. They don't have many, and they haven't over the years. Morris to punt. Not a good kick, and it does not take the 49er bounce. It goes out at the 24 yard line. So the Cowboys get a bit of a break. They'll have a first down and 10 at their own. 24-yard line following a 31-yard punt. Now clear Don travels all the time to get his fortune cookies. Certainly. Chinatown. Not as close to Hong Kong as you can get. He's right here in uh, San Francisco. You know what I mean? Good, good food, all that sort of good stuff. Hey, you've been top three here. They did. Cowboys have 12-16 in the fourth quarter. They're down by 11 points. They have a first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Dorsett on the draw. <laughs> Runs into his own man, knocks him out of the way, Kurt Peterson. The Dorsett gets up over the 30-yard line. Gain of six, it'll be second down and four. Touchdown, Tony. TD. Remarkable career, that man. Tony Dorsett, not only as a Heisman Award winner at Pittsburgh, where he gave a thousand yards in four seasons. The only season he hasn't had a thousand yards was last year when he only played nine games. Looks like Cliff Wilson, doesn't he? Yeah, and Montana looks like Bill Miller. He sure does. He does. Cosby and Dorsett. Red move there. And I don't set it on the first down. Now over the 35 to the 38-yard line. A little bit of an opening there. Well, that's the explosion you're talking about. I mean, he yeah. saw that little uh, zip. Yeah, and it's it's off. He's only 100 and uh, probably 89 pounds right now, but he runs so compact and he gets so much velocity. 
that uh, he, he appears to, to be heavier. He runs yeah. through as many tackles as some of your 220-pound backs. We talked about it before. Don and I watched him in the Superstars. He is amazingly strong. And the weightlifting is just unbelievable. I, I forget the exact weight, but it just stunned all of us. Is that close to 300 pounds? This is you know, right around 95 in his tennis shoes. So. I want to know why you can see everything. Look at those eyes. You got those big old eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can see it all. Ready right on first down. Zip. Ready yeah. Hill. Very similar pattern. Boy, did Danny White get hit? Yeah, he, he, he did. did. I it. Didn't see those guys coming either. But uh, it's a little rollout pattern. They got up. Who is this? Is that Tina? Uh, Kina? Uh, Kina oh, got oh, blocked oh, back. Yeah, Who is Hoogler. 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 Hoogler is top. Hoogler has turned into a fine nose tackle. I mentioned earlier that he came from Penn State as an offensive and a defensive man. Did both things there with Joe Paterno. Had him on offense last year. They needed a nose tackle. They put him in there, and he's become a fixture and a good one. Second down and 10, and the crowd is livening up. 10-38 remaining in the game. And he has got the kick on the right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Eric. Steps right in front of Don Lake. And you'll hear the crowd now. And I'm going to blame that in on Donnelly and not on the right. Donnelly did not put Eric Watt on right in a backup. Right with him all the way. They're smelling the Western Division Championship of the NFC. That's pretty close to you. Well, he had a little time to throw. Who are you blaming that one on? I say it's on Donnelly. You got to get that defensive back to back up, and he never really got right to back up. He really didn't push him enough upfield to back him up before he cut off. That's right, seventh interception of the season. Anyway, we've had a couple of tough weeks. <laughs> Where's he now? It's all right, do that in Minnesota a few weeks back. 35 points. Battle says 17. We have a little more than two minutes remaining. All right, let's take a look at him. Let's see what he does do. You've got to put that defensive back into some jeopardy. See, he did nothing. He did absolutely nothing. No move. Or oh, did Eric Wright time it out. So Eric Wright, one of the finest ones around. Third year out of Missouri, takes it in. The two coaches in tonight's contest. Five years, head coach. Uh, Bill Walk, 24 years for Tom Landry. Someone figured out that over 150 coaches have been hired since the Cowboys hired Landry back in 1960. Wershing hits it. Ron Fellow from the end zone. Fellow is out close to the 25-yard line, met there by Bobby Leopold. Return of 25 yards. First down, Dallas. There's the man that put the Danny White interception in for a touchdown. Second round pick in 1981. Hey, they're fired up here in Candlestick Park. If you mind, we're going to take a look back at some of these spectacular moments at the end of the telecast. Also, pay a little tribute to all the people that have entertained you throughout the year, our technicians and engineers. And Danny White.
But Johnson, and he'll have a first down. Yeah. And a late hit is going to tack more on to Butch Johnson's reception. You know, I, I, I saw that, and it wasn't the flag, and I said, that was good. I think that could have been avoided. That guy was close. Hit. But a guy like Butch Johnson and these receivers from Dallas, they're so dangerous that you got to make sure they're down. Really? No, 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 no late. No late. <laughs> what a malicious guy. No, not malicious. Well, they have not been striking fear to the 49ers out tonight. No, no man. Flag will be picked up. Oh, he went over the top. All right, let's call your basic over the top play. <laughs> over the top non penalty play. I have a feeling that the Cowboys, when they saw their game plan for this week, they weren't too inspired. You know, they know they have to play in a they week and maybe save the real one for next week. week. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. We might still be reviewing last week's. Uh -huh. We ought to. First down and ten. <laughs> anyway, oh, Lott. Ronnie Lott unloaded on Cosby. And Ronnie Lott was going to intercept the ball. He really wasn't trying to hit Cosby. He thought he could make an interception on that. Cosby got right back up, though, didn't he? If I if ever chose up sides to play commandos, I'd want Cosby on my side. Take a look at it from ground level. You're almost in the play, and you get a little bit of the sensation. Maybe Ronnie Lott, too. Cosby got. Well, no, he was going for him. Yeah, he was going for him. They will be playing together in the uh, Pro Bowl in only 29th and a while. They come up in Ronnie Lott. Second down and 10. Forty nine is going blitz. Anyway, right. this is one out to Billy Joe to clear him, and he had to get rid of it because he was under pressure. Ronnie Lock, perfect position on Billy Joe to pray. This one is rapidly turning into a route. It was one in the season of eighty one, regular season game. Forty five fourteen, the forty nine ers took Dallas. He came back, of course, to take the NFC Championship that year, 28-27. Prior to that regular season victory, the 49ers had only been able to beat Dallas one time in the nine previous meetings. That seems like a stat I heard about Washington beating Dallas in Texas Stadium only one time. Third down and ten. Flag is down. Danny Wells hands it out. He's nice. <laughs> that flag is down. Holding against San Francisco. Is that an automatic first? Yes, it is. They'll need it. 9.30 remaining. Here's Bob McAlee. Holding on the 44. Keeping. Automatic first down. The nickel man, Richard Blackmore, holding. Automatic first near the 45 yard line. Tom Landry, in the playoffs, 17 in the past 18 years. Been to the Super Bowl five times, won a couple of them. He's been there. Not a right. Come to that. Turn out the lights. The pit is over. Wayne Board. And they say that I'm going to recovery. The blitz was on. Willie Harper was in. They call it the night. Got to be a record. It's 922, Doc. The pit is over. And the metal starts the same old thing again. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna the Cowboys it, huh? have suffered now through seven tough quarters. Four last week, three thus far tonight, and things are not going too well here in the eighth. Had to be pretty good coverage downfield. Saw him pump fake. I saw for came in, knocked it out of his hands. Yep. Tony Dorfman making an old down San Francisco. 
And Montana will do that to you. You think you got him? He'll dump it out as he did to Craig. And Craig with a pickup of eight yards. That Craig is such a heads up player. He's playing every minute out there. Let me see him go to sleep. Unfortunately, we just learned Doug Coffey has a rib injury and won't be back. And I tell you what, he took that rib injury with. He couldn't tell you it didn't hurt him. He, he jumped, jumped up right up when yeah, it didn't hurt him. Oh, well, he's tough. I'm going to kill him. Second down and two. Craig, that was a terrific pass. Right on the money, wasn't it? Oh, and he was running directly away from him. And I know you know, Don, how tough that is to get it out there. It really is. It's the angles, and it's hard to see those angles sometimes from, from where you're sitting, no matter where it is. But what you're talking about, Frank, is you saw Craig come out. And there that ball is. He never broke stride. You can't be off any on that one. That has to be in one spot. First down, 49ers, 21-yard line. They are working seriously now on the ticker, and we're down close to eight minutes. You look at Craig Lindsay, he reminds me just a little bit of Dwayne Thomas, sort of a fluid motion, not the pure runner that Dwayne was, but some similarities in the way they look. Wendell Tyler. Wow, he heard it. Really pounded. Randy White was there, and Bruce Heather, who will really give you a lick. And his second tour with the Cowboys. They sent him off to Cleveland a couple of years ago. They sent him to Chicago. They cut him. And Dallas has got him back. Tyler got two yards out of it. It'll be second down and eight. So the Rams can start packing. They're going to be spending Christmas in Dallas, it would appear. Oh, they'll like it. It's a nice place for Christmas. Tyler and he is a shifty runner in the open field, and Tyler works the way all the way down to the 15-yard line. It'll bring up a third down and four, and here's Doug Cosby. He took a tremendous shot from Ronnie Lott. And we're told that he has bruised ribs. This Cowboy team is amazing that they are they're 12 and 3. They have so many number one draft choices on that defense, and, and a few teams put 30 to 40 points on the board on them this year. If they're still 12 and 3, and going 12 and 4, and they're going to be in the playoffs, and they're going to be right there. Okay, the first game at home, and Roger Craig, look at this. This one's Thomas. It doesn't look like Dwayne and Thomas. And did, 33 the whole bit. That's right. Hey, he got away from a good, hard-hitting tackle, Bill Bates, and he hardly broke stride as he kicked through the arm for Bill Bates into the end zone. That's that high, mean, sort of gliding style. You're really right. And that doesn't look like me Dwayne Thomas. That's why. <laughs> I love Dwayne's comment about the ultimate biggest Super Bowl. He's a little bit... Are they going to have one next year? Did a nice job. He went up into the line like he was picking up a, a backer. And he Not just... a bad catch right there, huh? Very nice catch. Now, here's the move. Let's slide right on for it. Yeah. 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 Working on for the conversion. Craig came in tonight with 43 receptions. He's caught five more tonight. 48 on the year. Almost 700 yards rushing. He's having quite a year. Hi, Mom. Sweetest bowl of the year. Number three ranked author, Tennessee. Harrison Cup with Michigan in the Sugar Bowl. January 2nd on ABC. These folks are going to boogie all night. You get the feeling. They've got fireworks going. They've been fired up since the opening kickoff. They've never had really to worry much about tonight. Horshin hits it. Short kick. Taken by Springs. And his leg is down. Springs got to the 24. And when it rains, it pours, and it is dripping all over the Cowboys. And then, I suspect the 49ers are going to go on to be victorious tonight. And Jerry Hogan, a wild card game in the NFC next Monday night, will be the Rams at Dallas the next Monday afternoon. Division of playoffs in two weeks. If Dallas wins, the wild card game will be Detroit 
not if they win the wild card game. Detroit will be in Washington, Dallas at San Francisco. The Rams win the wild card game against Dallas. The LA Rams will be in Washington, Detroit at San Francisco. Gary Hogaboom, or as Tom Landry often calls him, Hogan Bloom. Sometimes concentrates so hard, he has a hard time getting it all straight. But this, they feel, is one of the fine quarterbacks around. They're playing, they can hand that ball off. Ron Springs, or rather, Tony, Timmy Newsom is in there now. Mary White came up 20 yards short of a 4,000 yard season. And I've got a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of those as time goes on. But for Danny, that's kind of a, a tough way to end it. Because, uh, you know, it's funny. You get, what, 3,980. And folks don't talk about that too much. You get 4,000, they're going to talk about that a lot. It's up and out to Jerry. Equal one of your records, Don. Five touchdowns in one game against the Giants. Just equal. Though, that's equal. Yes. Yeah, that's an equal. Broken down in seven. That's good. Pick up. Willie Harper, <laughs> and the flag is down. Oh, good, folks. The flag is down, that would indicate. I think it's Dallas, though. No, it's yeah. San Francisco. It's the 49ers. So that would have been a late hit on Hogeboom. Hogeboom was saying, wait a minute, is this what playing is all about? <laughs> they got him pretty good, too. Yeah. They got him pretty good. Walking the passer, number 76, defense, first down. Dwayne Board. That's Dwayne Board. We'll look at it again. Hogan comes back, throwing his first pass. It's already intercepted. And the, the lick comes in the back. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, that was one of your unnecessary ones, and that's what they call it. Mm. It's difficult to see, though. Hey, that's a shot that could get you thrown out of a game. Yeah. Dwayne Board is not the type of guy that would do that. He's a pretty straight guy. Hard working. Both of the springs of the setbacks. First and ten. Welcome to rifles a shot, and it's complete. At, it's like seeing a young pitcher coming out, and he's got that high hopper working. He's really got a strong arm. But Johnson comes down with another cowboy first down at the 45-yard line. We'll pause five seconds and allow the fishers to identify themselves. WFA APB Channel 8, Dallas, Fort Worth. Well, it's been a blowout for the 49ers tonight. They open it early. Miller's got an interception, their defensive end. And they open the scoring, and then they turn every thing into a 49er scoring opportunity. And Boom. 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 And there was a collision against Tina Turner. 49ers have had a punt return of 55 yards. They've had a 77-yard touchdown. On a pass play in Montana to Sullivan, and now a cowboy is down. That is Howard Richards, who was just in the service tonight at right guard. We'll be right back. It is the season for McNugget Mania. Holiday wishes fill the air. Here, more McNuggets, please. That's the 20 piece size of McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. Right for decorative dinner parties, office celebrations, close relations, and great expectations. Oh, 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 oh. Questions about what to give whom this Christmas? McDonald's gift certificates are the perfect answer. Only 50 cents each or a book of 10 for $5. Television personal computers equip the profession for success. Park, they're already celebrating here in the Bay Area. Eddie DiBartolo Jr., the owner of the 49ers, got himself another title locked up. The Western Division champions of the NFC, and they'll do it with a 10 and 6 record. Got a nice mink jacket on there, huh? That's all the people back in Youngstown, Ohio, are happy. Congratulations. San Francisco East. Hey, one day they're cold. <laughs> On first and ten. Hugger doing the spot. That's the pass, right? Fires a shot out into the flat. Incomplete. 
They may have Butch Johnson, and the flag is down on the opposite side of the field. I think it was Ronnie Lott working on uh, Doug Donnelly. You saw that sideline route. There we go. Yeah. Ronnie Lott. Has not been one of Ronnie, uh, Ronnie's uh, greatest nights. He's really kind of been over his area quite a bit more than I expected. But if you're going to be bad, this is the time. <laughs> you're up. <laughs> Defense. Automatic first down. At the 36-yard line. The thing I feel that Hogaboom has and everybody has caused the controversy, that particular pain right there, you've got to have an arm that is really strong. And that one got out there. It was not completed, but the fact that he threw it that strong on the line, that's what he does best. That one was up in the air. Incomplete. Doesn't have the touch that a lot of other quarterbacks do and drop it over. I like the way you went right into that. Yeah, just slid right into it. <laughs> Elgaboom came up in 1980 as a fifth round draft pick. Really played behind Toronto until a year ago when Toronto got hurt. They moved him into a couple of exhibition games and said, Ooh, we've got a duel here. So far this season, he is 7 of 7 into the night for one touchdown, no interception. Oftentimes, very much easier for a backup quarterback to come in and have a good night because usually the game is out of control as it is right now. It'll give him a little bit more room. Jimmy Newsom. Newsom. Line of scrimmage. Three and a half a yard. Bobby Leopold in there defensively now for the 49ers. Put the head on Newsom. Put the head on Newsom. I think Newsom put the head on him. That Newsom, you got to tighten up the old headgear when he's carrying the ball. He goes 235. And he'll look for you to hit you. Third down and nine. Danny White. In a tough couple of weeks. Hogaboom doing a spin around out of the shot. Oh, oh, that one should have been picked off so easily. Should have been. Yeah. And Keenan knows it, doesn't he? That's That's turner. Turner. He's got a force tonight. That's, That's twice yeah, Keenan's done that. He <laughs> just threw the ball to him. <laughs> Dwight Hicks threw the ball to him. He caught it this time. <laughs> Fourth down, Dallas. Howard Richards, the young man we saw injured a little uh, moment ago. We understand has a pinched nerve in his neck. Don't know the degree of that injury. And of course, Pat Donovan went out early. And the Cowboys will be returning to Dallas. Their next game will be against the Los Angeles Rams, the other NFC wild card. That will be a week from today. Oh, the boom. It was awfully pretty, but it was behind Tony Hill. And San Francisco gets the football back. This ABC Sports exclusive has been brought to you by Bud Light. The best has a taste all its own. Satisfying but never filling. So ask for Bud Light. And by Buick, for comfort, reliability, innovation, and a real commitment to quality, see the 84 Buicks now. Guy Benjamin who played for Bill Wall to Stanford University seven years ago, is in the lineup now at quarterback, replacing Joe Montana. On the year, Montana, very durable. So Benjamin is 6 of 11, one touchdown, no interceptions. And this is Bill Ring. Bill Ring is hammered right at the line of scrimmage, but the clock continues to tick down. Bill Ring is in there, number 30, with Jeff Moore, number 25, of setbacks. Montana leaves the game, 14 of 26, 235 yards, four touchdowns, one oh. interception, while Danny White left with 25 of 37, 277 yards, two interceptions, and a touchdown. And for Danny White, his touchdowns on the year, 23. That's just two less than previous high for Danny White. They start all over the day after Christmas. Bill Ring. Ring gets three yards. And they bring up third down and seven. 
Look for a ring. Get a ring. No time out here. So Dallas. As the clock stops, the 217 will be back in just a moment. Streets, empty seats around as the 49ers have rolled up a 42 to 17 lead, 217 remaining in the game. The most points scored against Dallas since November the 11th, 1981. Guess where? Right here. The 49ers beat them 45 14. Guy Benjamin on third down and seven. Fires it out. It's complete to Bill Rain. He's covered. Smartly there by Bill Bates. And we're heading down to the two-minute warning. And, of course, the best record in all of football this year, the Washington Redskins. And that talented crew, let's take a look at their action against the New York Giants on Saturday. Second quarter action, Giants on top three to nothing. Joe Theismann having a tremendous year. Scrambles left, gets away from Lawrence Taylor. And Theismann picks up 17 yards to set up the game's first touchdown to make it 7-3. Moving on into the third quarter with the score 19-7. Theismann hands to the big man. John Riggins, who was bottled up by a really determined defensive effort by the Giants, goes 44 yards to set up another touchdown to cut it to 19-14 Giants. Then in the fourth quarter, the Giants still on top, 22-17. Joe Theismann looking for the tight end. Number 86, Clint Didier in the end zone. Seven-yard touchdown. Washington on top, 24-22. They went on to defeat the Giants, 31-22. And what a great year they've had. Home field advantage went with it. 14-2. Remarkable effort and job by Joe Gibbs, the young coach, and of course that entire Redskin team. A little tribute to them. The best record in pro football this year. The Super Football team. we got to say something about the Giants. They went into that game with nothing going for them and played against the best team in football and played them virtually to a standstill up until the last six, seven minutes of the game. I watched it, and they did a tremendous job, particularly, I'm talking about the defensive unit, Lawrence Taylor. Played one of the outstanding games I've ever seen played by a player. And Jeff Rutledge had a pretty good game. Brad Van Pelt. Joe Morris. Keep on. Morris kicks. This is Gary Allen. Allen struggles back to the 27-yard line. 43-yard cut by Morris. You know, it looked like they had a trick going there. He turned around like he wanted to lateral that ball back to someone. That's right. Reminder coming up right after the game and after some of your local newscasts, Nightline, and the question, why won't the Israelis let PLO leader Yasser Arafat leave Lebanon? Talks with the Israeli ambassador to the United States and the U.S. expert on the Middle East. That's tonight on Nightline, right after your late local news. Alice has a first down at their 28-yard line. Gary Hogaboom stays in at quarterback with Ron Springs and Timmy Newsom as the setbacks. Play once again, the Rams will be going to Dallas for the Christmas weekend. They'll play next Monday down there against these Cowboys in the wild card game. And the 49ers will get a breather. They've earned it. Timmy Newsom. And Newsom all the way up close to midfield before Ronnie Lott drops him. It'll be first down at the 49-yard line. Probably not necessary, but in case it is, this telecast is presented for by the authority of the National Football League. It is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the National Football League is prohibited. And another first down almost. A uh, great effort by Timmy Newsom. Timmy it Newsom. is the first down at the 40-yard line. You saw a few stats on Tony Dorsey. So believe me, in the playoffs, and if these teams meet again, I'd be surprised if you see those stats on Tony. Uh, it's 34 yards last week, 34 yards, uh, 20, 33 yards this week. That's not a Tony Dorsett uh, day. You're right. He's the money player, and when the playoffs come, you'll see the real Tony Dorsett stand up. I'm sure. Some of the artwork we've seen tonight, I think you probably should know who's providing it. Beverly Simone and Joni Carter out of New York. That is nice. I enjoy those. Those are really pretty. Very dramatic. And a beautiful night for everyone but the Dallas Cowboys here in San Francisco. Weather was perfect. Crowd in the highest of all possible spirits. Almost. 
as he looked down once again from the Goodyear Blimp Columbia. 1-11 until the end of the regular season the National Football League play for 1983. 49ers, I mentioned, they started it earlier than anyone else playing against Philadelphia on a Saturday before the first Sunday of the season. And they close out on a Monday night. Hoga Boom with Johnson. And Johnson, another Cowboy first down in the 28-yard line. Ron Ferrari is in there defensively a linebacker. Wholesale substitution by now both teams. Hoga Boom wants Donnelly. And it almost picked off. Tom Homo, a rookie out of Brigham Young, almost got the interception. Stops the clock with 44 seconds. Dallas, of course, has a tremendous edge, or at least they have had over the years. And maybe Washington kind of popped that balloon, too, last week. But they have a tremendous margin of winning versus losses in Texas Stadium. I'll tell you one thing, you got to watch these 49ers, Frank, because they throw the football, and if Washington has a weakness, well, they're 28th last in the NFL in pass defense, and we know the problems the Cowboys have had in pass defense. These 49ers could surprise a few people in the playoffs. Second and ten. Another fine shot by Hogaboom. Maybe a little too hot for Tony Hill. He's not used to that from Danny White. <laughs> no, I, think to I think Tony went to sleep that time. Yeah, they that was a catchable ball, wasn't it? <laughs> Zip right on through. Bill Walsh, he's a local. Haywood High School, San Mateo Junior College. Played at San Jose State. Started his career coaching, University of California. Head coach at Stanford. Spent eight years at Cincinnati before he came back here in 1979. Took him two years to get into the Super Bowl and win it. Our blimp, by the way, provided by the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Third down and 10 for Dallas. Overdoom. Picked off. Had to have Carlton Williamson. Playing center field, knowing full well that Hogaboom is going to put it in the air. It was intended for Donnelly. And 49ers. That's it. Carlton. They made some big plays tonight. They sort of staggered around offensively in the first half, but they got the big plays. They got the 55-yard punt return by McLemore. They got the 77-yard scamper by Solomon for a touchdown. They got the interception by Lawrence Pillars, which Montana promptly put in the end zone with Roger Craig. Dallas, every time they seem to get an opportunity to get the ball moving, they got a penalty, and they got picked off. Guy Benjamin, working now with the clock. Bill Rain helping him. The travel arrangements made through, and a promotional fee paid by United Airlines, the official airline of the 1984 LA Olympic Games, and the proud sponsor of the United States Olympic team. Just in mind, you stick around if you would, because we're going to show you some of the key plays that took place over the course of the season. And uh, one of your favorite tunes that you've grown accustomed to over the years from the dandy one. You're going to get it right this time. We'll be back in just a moment. If you're just looking for a small car, your choice is very large. But if you're looking for a small car with advanced front-wheel drive engineering, your choice is more limited. And if you're looking for a small car that's also very sporty and maneuverable, you'll find it reassuring to look at this one. Skyhawk, the first car to succeed at being both small and Buick at the same time. Wouldn't you really rather have Buick? Do you have enough homeowner's insurance to keep up with building costs? Do you have enough auto liability to pay for a serious accident today? I'm Doyle Olson, a State Farm agent from St. Charles, Illinois. State Farm agents around the country are offering a free family insurance checkup. We'll show you where you stand on your auto, home, life, and health insurance and leave the decisions to you. If you have any questions on your family insurance, see a State Farm agent now. And like a good neighbor, State Farm.
49ers have won the Western Division of the NFC 42-17 over Dallas. We hope you've enjoyed our year. We've had highlights. We'd like to pay tribute to all the fine technicians that have brought it to you.